Hey, we're back with more Pillars of Eternity 2. Uh, I'm going to try to keep doing main story stuff for now. I'd like to get the main party up to a level where I can more freely explore the, the map. Uh, maybe we'll go back and focus on some side quests. I'm curious, I don't know if there's any data on this yet, whether the uh, the turn-based mode significantly slows down the playthrough, like inflates the playtime or not. I assume that it's slower. Hey, sir. How's it going? It's much more fun for me, though, so <laughs> don't mind. So, 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 hey, I thank you, so, Kiri. Appreciate so, that. So, 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 yep, so, that's why I use it. So, 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 I'll be doing something similar next time I play StarCraft, the cartoon mode. So, 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 so. Super awesome. You can do it, Pillars 2. Don't crash. Hey, everything's fine. We were exploring this area yesterday. Didn't end up needing any of those barrels for that fight anyway. because that's how long the loading takes yeah I don't think I want to go back through here I'm trying to think what game I've played has had that has had the worst loading screen other than Sonic 06 definitely played a few where they measure in the minutes right hey there leave it to me I can't swim through here that's cool So we the all can. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn is pretty bad in general. FF7 Remake is very irritating whenever you try to restart a fight, like if you try to hit give up in the middle of a mini game it's like a solid 45 second wait it's often faster to just like fail the mini game and start over that way loose masonry mars the southern wall gatehouse some of the protruding bricks look prominent enough to climb estimated difficult to climb dangerous fall Serving gets injured, but we still get a chance to climb it. Oh no, we have to start over. Yikes. Wow. Seraphin, get your shit together, man. It's probably fine. Look at all these stone guys in the corner here. Because I'll have to burn a grappling hook. I can just buy grappling hooks from regular shops, right? Down to my last one, so I'd like to save it for in case I absolutely need it. World Open. Archers. Open. We're not alone. Why don't you cast a big ol' ice ball on these guys? And then the rest of y'all yeah. head up here. Oh shit, I just cancelled it. It's fine, I'll fix it. Sweet. Of course. Oh, that looks like it hurt. 
What can I do you for? What can I do for you? Let's get a big old bouncing blade attack over here. That deep's out there. And I've got that new finishing attack now, which is kind of cool. Don't see why not. Let's see. Finishing blow. Nice. Fortunately, when they die, they blow up. Oh, because it was targeted on an entity. It did it failed? Okay, that's a bummer. Right, I switched spell books. Minor missiles is to oh, instant cast. What can I do you for? Blessed harvest this thing. I don't think it's happened yet, the PS5 event. Um, there's some rumors I'll about see what I can find. Elden Ring, Bloodborne for the PS5, a possible PC port of Bloodborne, which I would eat my breath on. More information on the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn PC port and Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Those guys got destroyed, all right. Hey, this guy in here. What's up, dude? Let me rob you before we talk. I always appreciate people that do that. Distant light. Okay, I've reached the... Got it. An older man... Hunches over a work table, scribbling furiously by the light of a flickering lantern. Slave sphincter, those snakes were noisy. I don't suppose you brought any extra parchment with you? Do I have enough points for scientist? What are you doing? I'm writing it all down. My research, my work, something to survive before the next walk in Colossus, the next Naga warband. Do you need something? If not, I should focus. So much to do. Uh, Zahira told me you had explosive shells. Just the one. Just the one. Someone came and took it. Oh, that was you. It is about 20-ish hours into the game. Been doing a decent number of side quests. I'm just back on the main story now. If you'd like to discuss spoilery stuff, if you type exclamation point find before your message, chat can see it and I will not be able to see it. What didn't? A colossus made of Adra marched through the fort, grew bright like luminous, and scores of soldiers fell dead. Incredible. Then the Naga killed everyone else. Except Latharn, I suppose. Yes, he must have left. Sierra survived. They should split up. Safer that way. Better odds. Latharn? Star fellow. Arrive yesterday last week complained of strange dreams smart of him to leave so soon he's got to be acting on his dreams trying to help our god do you need something if I not i should focus so much to do there are survivors holed up by the docks i can help you reach them safety in numbers eh a comforting illusion let the others have it if they wish it i must see that my work survives how do I get to the yeah, lighthouse? Indeed. Naga everywhere. Suppose your best chance will be up along the walls, west and south. But how to get there? Better perhaps to keep going south, around the edge of the fort, through Fleet Master Ko's office. More cover from the Naga. Later, dude. Thanks for your help. Wait, do I not loot this chest yeah, hole? challenge. Oh, I see. I'm already maxed out. Got it. Okie dokie. 
try climbing that thing again. So if I wanted to do this skill challenge without... Let me think I'd ask this question. Um, I assume that this skill challenge is more difficult because I have party members who suck at mm -hmm. athletics. Sure. Is that true or is it... Am I not being held back by worse party members? I know that there's like group skill checks and that people can help each other, but looks like he's by himself. Find the tower. Well, Seraphin still took the injury, even though he technically wasn't with me. Incredible. I'll try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, we're probably gonna have to use the grappling hook. To remember to buy another one as soon as possible. I got this. I know, right? Toss the grappling hook. Attack off. Don't need to reduce their fortitude. My pleasure. And that's how it's done. What can I do you for? Hit this guy a bunch, I guess. Do maces target the fortitude defense? Like their thing. Nuke this thing. Yes. Both oh, single target effects target deflection. I see. Yeah. But if you have any answers, so it's Danny, I'd be much typical D and D rules, not um. Not 4th edition D&D, &D, where you have all kinds of different defenses for different sorts of weapons. Gotcha. Sure thing. I have a question about um, engagement, but I have to think about how to ask it. If Aider engages Naga A, does that mean Naga A is also engaged with Aider, or are those separate states? Right? Like, cause say Aider has up to three engagements and the Naga has one engagement. How does that work? So blunt, pierce, and slash. Okay. Well, the reason I asked was fourth edition has it, it treats fortitude, uh, reflex, and will as similar defense stats to AC. So it added, like a fireball would target your reflex, for example. You wouldn't do a reflex save. You would roll against the reflex as though it was their AC. Collection determines a result. Specific defense against the weapon type might reduce the damage. Okay. Damage reduction versus cut. Leaving it to the braces. Hey. Not to alarm you, but I'm slowly dying of poison. <laughs> a boom. Also, kaboom. That grimoire is the shit. Yes. Big fan.
I wonder if you're able to climb it, the wall, without the uh, grappling hook, if you don't have to deal with them. That'd be kind of cool. Climb the rope. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a bummer. Oh, Twitch is having issues right now? to the lighthouse, minimal Nagas, I think I've already maxed out the Beast Siri for them, so avoid combat if I can. Lighthouse is quiet, but for soft, sibilant whispers. This room looks, I think we had to go in a lighthouse in the first game. The sea I don't know why that room stuck with me. Root the tree of the gods, yes? Their blasphemy knows no bounds. Go! Carry a warning of what you have seen to the other shufflers. I need to approach the Adra. Cool! See what the impiety of the sea striped fiends has wrought. The sand striped shufflers know better. But you others come, smooth toned or furred or sea striped, with blasphemous hunger. Now, foreign ones dig at these roots. And the Deep Hunter is with us no more. Now, the gods return to rain their punishment on these islands. Again. Again? You're saying the gods have wrought ruin on Deadfire before? Do your stories say nothing of the many disasters? Of the shuffler nests washed away like foam? Many generations ago, the sand-striped ones built great hives across the islands and bastions around the Adra roots. History 6. Juana civilization spanned the archipelago, but the Anguithans built temples around the Adra. They did not build alone. The sand-striped ones helped, as they help other fiends now. Their meddling displeased the gods. So the gods smashed their works with heaving volcanoes and crashing waves. History is repeating itself. You shufflers are beasts of habit. You do not learn. You do not change. You cast off your sheddings by night only to put them back on at daybreak. <laughs> you wrap yourself in filthy, worn out things. Our ancestors hid deep where the waters quenched the fires and muffled the storms. They remembered while shufflers scattered. Now, the shufflers build again. The gods see. They will tear them all down. Ferreth sent me. I'm here doing the will of the gods. Aethys came to reach the Adra, not to punish anyone. From the Watcher, I can restore the Adra if you'll let me near it. The shufflers so tongue is thick with blasphemy. Kill him now, Sukha. If your fat tongue speaks true, then give us proof. <laughs> Blessing, requirement not met. Oh, is that if I had selected Bareth the previous game, maybe? Religion's not high enough. Bareth, this would be a great time for one of your demonstrations. Nothing happens. What would you consider proof? I tell you, thick tongues lie. Fork tongues do not. If what you say is true... Then surely you can speak with the dead. I can't speak I with the dead. I believe your words. Only if I hear them from the tongue of my own people. Warning, do you expect me to deliver? The must not disturb these roots. Or the gods will destroy the islands again. What's the deep hunter? The defender of the isles. The guardian of tides. Once... It lived among us, in all bright, quiet places, where shufflers did not go. But then, 
More came from distant lands. First few, then many. Now, our deep hunter is gone. He glares as though you are to blame. Yes. Tell the other shufflers of the destruction that awaits. And do not come back. Not without proof the gods have blessed you. Okay, wants me to talk to some dead nagas? Dark, Aethas drained it. Feel to reach Aethas by making contact with the Adra. A Naga named Sugan bars away. He thinks the gods are punishing Kith for disturbing their Adra. They warn me not to return unless, unless I bring one of his dead to corroborate my story. Huh. So there are a bunch of other ways around that. Oh, I love the giant Aethas footprints. I got this. I got this. As far as getting uh, as dead as evidence, is it just like one of the encounters here I need to do? Oh, I just asked because usually the uh, the journal gives you more information than that. So I'm guessing. Cave coral. Neat. Hey, hey, Hoth. You must gather your party before. Uh oh. Something I can do. Because I can't teleport when it's not combat. Good thing. This might be bad. Let's see if I can get Ader back down there. He's got to go all the way around. Oof. Oh, that was my bad. I like using that, that dash uh, to get up places in combat, but... Hopefully I can't softlock myself because of the whole you must gather your party thing. So be careful when I use it. Fine pistol, letter from Matharn. Oh, you know, I've never been one for superstition, but I'm telling you, there's something to these dreams. I can't tell you what they mean. Just working your farms, pious Athasians to a man, or having them too. We left homes and families back in Raid Saris. So, Duke's ransom with Black Powder. Flex of sealing wax, cling to the tip of the blade. Sango Fort. Don't think I really have much reason to be up on this side of it.
Hello. Let's get another big ice. Couple popping out from the water. Passes their way. There's something we don't see every day. What can I do you for? Nice, sir. All right. It's always fun when you're building something for a while and finally get around to being able to do it with players. Wasn't close enough to bounce a bunch of times. In. Yikes. Yeah. And you healed? How dare you? Of course. Nice stagger. Oh. Oops, open two of those. Finishing blow this shot. Cool. So close to being finished off here. into that kind of damage, gotcha. Perfect. That's cool when, like, published lore works into your plans. Nice. Were you using music a lot? Ooh, grappling hook bird. Need one of those. Were you using music frequently before you guys transitioned to Roll20 for COVID? Oh. Can they just target me over the wall, I guess? gonna get to go before they get to act. Maybe the rubble has to be destroyed through combat? Looks like that's right. I don't think I'm actually allowed to attack it. I'll have to kill the enemies from range then. Not sure I can. It's too far away. What about this? There's a fourth one in the back. Yeah, I think it has the same size targeting circle as everything else, exactly. He should be able to warp through here, I think. Perfect. Oh, god. Great. Aider might be about to have a bad day. Let's 
destroy this totem first. That dog won't hunt. That dog won't hunt. Stuck over here. He needs some kind of basic teleport. Do you expect to actually get in that? That looks complicated. Most of my long range attacks I've already burned through here. I'm gonna have to bring Hater down, I think. Just pass his turn for now, I guess. Cancel his spell right now. Happy to oblige. Be blowing a man down. Sorry, Hater. I think he's hobbled too, so getting him out of there might be a little no tricky. Rush. But if you have any antidotes, Andy, I'd be much obliged. It's almost destroyed. Okay, good. It's the main thing I wanted to do with him here. None of them are engaged on him as far as I can tell, right? Aider made it away, hooray! What you gonna do now, computer? How may I help? That looks complicated. Yeah. If you guys wanna come closer to this, that would be great. Happy to oblige. Time for everyone to just run away, I think. Oh, that guy came up to the wall finally. Yes, please. Walk right into range of all my spells. That would be wonderful. Be a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. So she says none of you have ranged attacks, apparently. Laser? Death laser is gonna be exactly closer. My area of expertise. Yeah. Try and let it come all down so that they stay put. What for, Captain? May as well send you back in now. Out my wheelhouse, friends. Something I can do? Not from back here, I don't think. We have to teleport back over. More fees. Uh oh. The employee was about to. Longer. Oh god, there's more coming to join. Uh, 
interrupts worm. I think when you summon the young Drake with this thing, it just kind of spends a long time doing nothing. I don't know what the deal is with that. How may I help? You could cast more big spells. That looks complicated. You are out of things to do. What can I do you for? Nuke these guys, maybe. That's like melee range. I'm not doing that. We need to start getting just some regular hits off. Wow, that was pretty great. <laughs> He's got 87 focus now. More of that, please. You can hit there. I think I just got B-Siri XP for the Desert Worm I summoned dying. It's kind of funny. Distracts foes, frightens foes, top here. Yeah. Probably send Aider in there to fight again. Once there's fewer of them, it's probably now's not the time yet. How may I help? Keep casting spells, bud. Ray of fire. Anyone caught in the ray. It's too fast. Also has a proximity problem. Probably still gonna have to run away and fight them on the other side. I don't think this fight was intended for me to attack them from this side of the rubble. Still can't reach any of this. The rubble did take some damage from the fireball, but not enough to matter. What's my level four spell? Silent Scream. Oh, that's a PBAOE, unfortunately. It'd be cool if I could do it. Puppet Master. Dominate one of these guys, sure. Let's do the buffest one. This is the worm over here, just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what you want from me. Hmm? Not yet time to send Aider in. I guess this would be a nice time if I had multiple... If everyone had a ranged one. weapon as a backup, so they're not just standing here waiting. already dominated, I think, right? One of these is, unless it just wore off already. I must have already worn off, that sucks. Hi, Ben. I wish you were close enough to use this. Not sure I can. Those are all AOE range as well. 
or um, melee range, I should say. All right, Aider, it might be soon. Almost time for you to head in there. What do you need? Not quite yet, though. How may I help? Ow. They'll fall by my hand. Very cool. Get them. So dominate another one if we can. It's hard for me to tell at a glance which ones I've uh, already dominated. It's two that I've dominated, I think. Oh, I think the one that I dominated earlier wore off. Okay. Right here. There's something I can do. How may I help? Not a ton you can do right now. Oh, I graze the first dominate. I see. That looks complicated. Ahoy. Be more than our fancy, huh? Very good. So if I disengage and then re-trigger this combat, does everyone get all their spells back? Oh jeez, that sucks. Yeah. Just don't have that anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Party loss. Got to keep the lad on his feet. Lead on Aloth's not great. Never actually gotten a chance to use Gon's pledge. Pretty good. And Dominator was wrong. We do oblige. Keep running away. Yes. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, he's still attacking him, even though he's not dominated anymore. That's funny. What for, Cap? Assume one of these guys, since this is the largest group of Naga. Cannot venture forth in combat. Okay. Well, I need to drop combat then because I can't kill them from back here. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific ability I have to do to get combat to drop, or is it just getting sufficiently far away from the enemy? How does it work in the normal game? Mm -hmm. Hope so. I don't know if I can like freely switch between turn-based and full-time mode.
something I can do. Yeah, I'm only doing it here because I couldn't get through the rubble with most of my characters. And I already burned through all my ranged abilities. Oh, that's right. Forgot about that. We'll be back in episode two. You turn on double fast forward. What can I do you for? Gonna slowly get to the other side of the map. I'm actually curious if they're trying to path toward us right now or what it is they're doing exactly. We might be able to attack them from up here. Yeah. go all the way back around that building. Oof. But it might not be possible for me to get yeah. to them. This might be a pseudo softlock situation because I needed to interact with a wall oh. in order to get on this side of them. Yeah. Um, and I'm guessing it won't let me interact with it again while I'm in combat. So unless if I can like lure them all to a location where I can slowly link them to death okay. with uh, Seraphin, I might just need to reload, which would suck because I spent a lot of time in this fight so far. I guess I just assumed that I could fight them from on the other side of the wall and beat them up slowly, or at least take out the wall during the combat. Be an auto save when I left the lighthouse. I'm still hoping that it will let me disengage at some point. What can I do you for? Google it real quick. Uh, two turn based escape combat. How do I flee from a battle in turn based mode? A fight. Oh, that's Pillars of Eternity 1. Hmm. Well, it's not sunk cost now because I still assume that they're, the game allows you to escape somehow, right? Probably be useful for me to know this. But I had no way of knowing that if it is impossible to escape, I wouldn't have known that and would have been screwed the moment I engaged these things from behind that rubble wall, right? Yeah. I feel like they'd want to let you run away just so that this doesn't happen, where you risk getting yourself locked. Oh, it looks like they're going to get to us eventually. We'll be able to fight them. Okay. Happy to oblige. I guess they're coming up on this side. If I come down this side where they are right now, check. No, that involves getting on the second floor of this building. I guess I could use console commands to kill them or something. Or teleport my players or something. Yeah, this is a tough game to Google. What for, Cap? I'm wondering if like combat's supposed to end if you lose vision of all the enemies for a certain number of turns. 
But I've had vision of a couple of them this whole time, no matter what. Can I still change their gear in combat if I didn't have it selected before? Can't be changed in combat. Nope. <laughs> I don't think it's possible for me to get down to them. I don't think they can get up to me because they can't go through buildings. Right. The question is, was, will it let me use the grappling hook in combat? I'm going to guess the answer is no. Well, this is a bummer. I do think this is, in fact, not winnable. How may I help? Hey there. He doesn't even have the inspiration to move there. Wow. So if you try to, if you get too close to them and you've taken a different route to get to the lighthouse, it's basically game over. From the moment you aggro them, unless if everyone has like really high powered. AoE attacks, but part of the problem was one of the enemies was an archer that wasn't getting close to the rock, so no one was close enough to kill them. The Reddit post that says, how do I flee from battle in turn base mode, seems to suggest that you should still be able to. No, I like there is a option for the rubble, but it wouldn't let me damage it. Be true, not a bug. Stuck in combat and things from way off. Okay, let me see. Pillars of Eternity 2. Console Command and Combat, maybe? Yeah, which I just got details from, from the guy near the lighthouse. Not have pulled up the <laughs> calculate flea combat destination. See also flea combat. Is this a uh... there's a really detailed wiki on console commands, but there's like too many in here for it to be clear what I should be able to do to get out of this. I think I just need to load and go around the other way. That really blows. Bummer. Okay. Just 30 minutes, no big deal. Demon Souls are one of the things folks are expecting today. So that's nice, because the game is unplayable now. I think. The servers are shut off if you try to play it on the PS3. We got a ferocious beast watching us, and he looks like he's got a very itchy belly. 
Beckon the dog to come with you. I doubt it. I'm sure it's just a remaster. We got a doggo. Has plus one stealth, plus one survival. Okay. Remember that I have this guy if I need to do a sneaking mission. Oh, that's a serp. <laughs> or like an emulator or something, spiking. Both of them with that bummer. Pretty good. Oh, you can change the connector to an actual PS3. Wow, it's crazy. May I help? We come away. Terrible. Nobody move. Slowly dying of poison. You missed you get it. I wish I could project how many enemies I'm gonna hit in uh AoE with uh Barbarian, it's not clear. Yes. Slowly dying of poison. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> Very nice. Ouch. Smart stone it. I'm having some trouble moving through this. Deuce healing named. Yeah. Might end up being bad where they end up moving there, we'll see. <laughs> that must hurt. 
Serapin, bounce your shit off of things. That was cool. It's the kind of thing that gave them inspirations when they take damage, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize you could burn concentration. Oh, I guess he's uh, channeling that effect? Okay, got it. Did not realize that. Okay, Aloth's not looking too hot. Not very helpful. Yeah. Let's do something. Absolutely. <laughs> Goodbye, Aloth. I was hoping to heal you up with Seraphim, but no dice. Now you be right screwed. Happy to oblige. Let's do some monk abilities, I guess. Lightning strikes. Oh, although this turn I should just use Bless and Harvest. Mobilize. I'm like, why can't he attack anything else? Hater, no! I wish I didn't use a whole turn. Some good times. I don't have the big heal. Cast this on Eater, though. I need some help here. Can I just come out from under the water? Rude. Oh, come on, seriously? It's so close to being able to hit both of them, it's like a pixel away. No. <laughs> well, I gotta heal Aider because he's gonna die if I don't do this right now. Hey, we had some good times. My lantern flickers. Another withers on the vine. There's just too many of them. This is part of why I was bummed about having to reload last time, because, uh... Oh, it just ends his turn when he activates the free res, I guess. I got a bunch of them dead from relative safety behind the wall. The game just doesn't know how to deal with it, I guess. Yeah, this is, this is game over again. Bummer. All right, well, I'm guessing there's some trick to this, like you're supposed to load the cannon or something. I could also just fight the dudes in the lighthouse. I was trying to do something sneakier. Bummer. That's a bummer. Bummer. Near on an hour wasted. But I guess now we know how mechanics work. We can't, there's no way to disengage from combat. Oh, my original auto save was, uh, or did I lose it already? It was like 1.19 p.m. So 50 minutes. Okay. Actually, no, we can just go through the other op way outside here right, without risking anyone getting stuck in the...
Warm me down to return. Magic lighthouse, explosive shells. Right, let me try just walking over to the bard now that I have the shell and the thing that tells me how to load it. Maybe you just aim it at the rubble and then all this goes away. Load it. Turn it towards the cluster of Naga. Rub cooking fat into the gears. That's cool. It's messy and smelly work, but once the gears in your arms are liberally greased, you're able to turn it. Cool. Aim it. Fire. Could have done this a while ago. Hooray! Twenty second solution. What an easy win. Consider it done. I really have to remind myself that like actually killing things in combat is not there's no reason to do it. You don't get extra loot or anything special. Don't think I got I was hoping one of those would leave something behind that I could use for this evidence to show to the other creatures, but it looks like it doesn't care. How do I talk to the dead of the Naga? I'm actually going to Google it here in a second. Pillars of Eternity. To where to talk to dead Naga. So Naga ghost somewhere. either in this building or the building across the way from it. Hey, it sounds like all the leaks were true. Horizon Zero Dawn 2. So we'll see if they do the Bloodborne PS5 release plus uh, PC release. your party before venturing I got this it's supposed to be a spooky ghost in one of these rooms it says it's the cannon rampart so that must be further southeast kitchen okay maybe it's that one The staircase just connects these two doors. You must gather your party before venturing forth. It's a more dangerous way to swim between them, but I'll check it in a second. I guess it's a way to dodge some of the topside guys. Oh, maybe there's another path in the staircase? Oh, that's why I never got to this earlier. Okay, yeah, so I went through the staircase last time, and I guess it gave me a left or a right turn. Because if you take the other turn, that's how you get to the other room. Thank you. Orient yourself. Go toward the dining hall.
Nope, that was the wrong one. Bring it yourself. Go to the kitchen. I guess go left? Use a pry bar. Okay, thank you. glow so brightly just like the, the... Yeah, it is cool as you can see from elsewhere it's a uh, very much a metroidvania hint mario 2 hint away the striped fiends profane the island endlessly burrowing building they bury the adra under stone Sugan says we must find a way in. Sugan says I must find a way in. I know who Sugan is. You're a I scout. I am Yanas. Yanas searches. The fiends gather at the walls, searching too. Not for me, but they see me still. Mike, you died. You know, Sugan, maybe you could reason with them for me. Sugan. He sent me after a way, but he is not here in the darkness. Only you. Resident Evil 8. Please do not go. Come with me. It is too dark. I will lose my way or be swallowed by the terrible walker. Stay a little longer. Your glow is a comfort here. You died. No, not dead. Still searching. What are you looking for? A way, I said. A glowing, shining way. It pulled into her memory and into the dark abyss of the in-between. And from the darkness, you and Yana see a bright rift. The way glows. Like an anglerfish lure, but it feels safe. I will follow the way, I think. But then I see another glowing thing. This one does not feel safe. Hmm. Another glowing figure appears, this one shaped like an enormous walker. Three stars burn above its brow. The Aethys. I know that because of the little logo that it says when it says Pro Aethasian. Last, the pillar is dark. It's basically recalling the fact that now, Aethys drained the pillar. There is no way and no light. I am afraid. I'll restore the pillar, then you can continue the on your way. I am searching for a way. Show me. Hooray! First try. Yeah, yeah. Thanks all for the help. Climb the rope. Yanas's soul into the here. Sugan, I found the way. 
So yeah, I can summon ghosts. Yes. You died. We saw. The way became dark. But this one brought light. This one. We will kill the shuffler and free your soul, Yanas. It doesn't work that way. Do old scales cloud your eyes? The shuffler glows like the god walker, like the way. He will open the way. So the last of Yanas's essence fades back into the in between. So God regards the utter vein. Calculation flickering in his eyes. The gods give you power, yes. But is it enough? Approach. Restore the blessing of the gods to the Adra. Hey, no combat. Totally wasn't worth it. Should have just fought them the first time I walked in here. <laughs> As your hand touches the dim Adra, you feel the same cool, pricking sensation that you did when you touched the pillar near Port Maje. You concentrate on the pillar. The world around you swiftly falls away. Hey, snake friends. Only the vast emptiness of the in-between. The Audra and a multitude of golden threads undulating off into the distance. For a second time, you gather the threads in your mind and bind them together, forming a solid tether that ripples out toward its distant anchor. Again, a sure crack the sounds from the terminus. Your consciousness is violently pulled along the cord. You are prepared for the sensation this time, but are still disoriented when you come to a sudden stop. You find yourself standing behind a familiar titanic statue as it trudges through invisible waters. I think I mentioned this in previous episodes, but like it's shocking to me that the narrator got such little in the way of voice direction when it seems like every other voice acted thing is very heavily directed. She kind of has the same flat tone for all of it. Standing at Aethys's shoulder, your soul is dwarfed by the massive god's form. Energy pulses along the tether, each wave feeding the Audra's movements. He stops. His head cranes behind that him, again accompanied by the sound of stone shearing and buckling. His eyes rest upon you. He does not well, she's a talented room, voice actress. But considers you for a long span of silence before speaking. But I don't blame her. I just don't think they gave her any notes or there wasn't anybody in the studio with her that day. Your first attempt to contact me was brave. This second attempt, is it born out of desperation or something else? <laughs> Why do you continue to follow me, Watcher of Cad Nua? One of these is, you destroyed my castle and ate my soul, jackass. Or priests of Magron or Aethys, I'd have some stuff. Barath insists. Yes, they must want answers. But why do the biddings of the gods matter to you? Is it wrong to do something out of love? The Pallid Knight will claim my life is forfeit if I don't find out what that you're doing. That is a cruel bargain to be a god's pawn. It's great, actually. Barath even gave me special powers. I hate it, but I have no choice in the matter. Your anger is understandable. Many mortals curse the gods for their misfortune. But you are in the rare position Dr. of knowing exactly how we are manipulating you. <laughs> Aethys becomes silent. You can sense his presence advancing back along the cord between you. His energy flows over your hand. Tendrils of light probing into the air around you. They poke and prod the silent lost souls hovering in your vicinity you are in a unique position in spite of the work of the leaden key and hand occult you have seen through our facade you know the gods true nature i sure do without the benefit of your knowledge few mortals would be willing to accept the true history of their gods after all we weren't the last time i walked aora I made a mistake in not revealing my true purpose. I believe you would understand it better than most. Well, what are you waiting for? The gods want answers. I'll just nod. Yes, I will tell you. No! But this is not the time. As I take this body farther from the lighthouse, the tether grows weaker, and I have already tarried too long. 
Soon this link will unravel completely. If I have not reached my destination when that happens, I will need to pull more souls from your world. Wait, is that what happened at Hasongo? 16 intellect. It is. When you contacted me from Port Maje, I had to sever my tether to the Luminous Adra. Without it, I lack the strength to reach Hasongo. It's kind of a cool way to limit him a little bit. I pulled souls from the creatures of the ocean and from the people at Hasongo until I could reach the lighthouse. The soldiers and Naga there were no threat to me. I did not kill them out of malice, but simply to keep this body moving. That's quite a vulnerability. Did I cause you to kill all these people? That question, Watcher, requires a more philosophical examination than we have time for. The edges of Aethys's massive form blur and dissolve. So, the huge figure he has like... From you. As it moves, the tether begins to the equivalent of like a like an early model Motorola droid. It can't really run more than one app at a time. You call him on his god cell phone, he runs out of processing power and has to murder all the fish. If you would know more, find me at the Ashen Maw in Margarine's teeth. I must rest there before I begin my final work. When I leave that place, you will not be able to follow. Okay. Before I go, I should return. So we don't have any time, but let me talk about all this other shit. Of the great power of your soul, but I can spare you this portion. A pulse of energy moves back along the golden cord toward you. It feels familiar. Wait, so when he killed me, did he? I must have missed this or forgot about this. He took my soul too. The energy washes over you. Flooding you with feelings and memories you had thought long forgotten until they settle back into the cracks of your soul. And then the tether and cord snap. Aethys's figure evaporating into dust that mingles with the endless gray expanse. Heat rushes over you, and the uncomfortable. I guess it's like he's got like a dial up connection to the pillar. So you call him and Getting somebody off the MMO. The light Mom. Of the living world. You are back in the lighthouse. No longer dim. The luminous Audra beside you is filled with warmth and light. Hooray! Hooray? Diamond pupils wide. Long have we kept peace with the sand striped people, but then the foreign ones came and spread, killed our people, built their hives everywhere. We were sure the God Walker came to. So did Naga them count as kith? That driving them away. They seem pretty sapient. Mission. Slaughter is never a holy mission. didn't hit them hard enough. The gods have bigger concerns than our feuds. We must learn to live together. Mm, but on whose terms we must go? I know not what this means, but our brethren should hear of it. You show us something new today, Shuffler. Oh, I got a thing Thank out of it. For this. It was totally for worth mercy. it. Is there anything that makes the kith more important? Like, do they reincarnate more or something? Intellect, history, insight. Morgan's power surge. By myself, what all benefits you get from intellect. Little defenses, influences, durations, and area of effect for all abilities. Blah, 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 blah. Cypher Shackle. Of the Flames. No, oh, you shouldn't have.
Tier. Just a concussion bomb sitting up here. Really like collecting the pets. 5% damage from area effect attacks, plus 5% healing done. This luminous odd draw to be able to take my souls, Watcher. What do you say? Sure. Get ready to witness the feat of a lifetime, Watcher. I'm about to do God's good work to single-handedly shepherd a multitude of souls straight into the depths of hell. I'm ready to be impressed. Then keep your eyes peeled, because it's going to happen fast as a fire beetle flash. The Audra will snatch them right quick once I conjure the light. So don't look away. Presses a palm flat to the cold expanse of gem-like growth. Fingers trembling, and like a firework going off, the light from her lantern flares blindingly bright. Aloth's annoyed by everything. Electricity, hypercharged soul energy, whips across the air, lashing open her skin. Strike bursts, show to you bloody from face to neck to arms and lower, and she screams. Her voice is secondary crack across the sky. Let's try release the soul. Lantern trembles so violently it nearly cracks, and a massive wave of purple essence rushes from the lantern. Quest XP! Yadra cracks, a jagged shard tumbles to the ground. She got a wound out of that. That's cool that they can fit the wound system into story events, too. I think that's one of their best ideas in this game, to be honest. Like, Wounds are such a good idea that I, I would almost say that every CRPG should do it. Hell, and I only got to do it again and again on cycle until the day I die. <laughs> it's like hit points are like the most boring way to track things. Serving one's god was always easy. Everyone would do it. I never did want to take the easy route. I'll keep reaping more souls then. Do my duty till I fall to dirt and bones. Never you worry though. I'll see to dumping my lantern in the future on my own. Thank you for finding me a way to handle my burden. Even if it does involve the occasional jolt of pain. No problem. Luminous Audra Mantle. Perhaps it could be used to improve upon Shoti's lantern. Oh, so, so that's a way to have so unique away. quest objects or to have their unique gear only upgradable after doing their personal side quest. That's smart. Doing any better? My bones are still a little jangly, but yeah, I think I am. Permadeath that can only happen if you're extremely negative. I don't know if this is what Gon planned for me, but I'd like to think we did right by these souls. We're bringing light to the darkness. Ensuring spring follows the common fall. I can see what problem they were trying to solve. It was like, we want you to recover all of your health in between battles, but we want dying in battle to have a consequence, and we want, like, traps to have a consequence, because they really wouldn't if wounds didn't exist and you still recovered health. Light of the Dawn Star. Ah. Aura gives nearby allies a chance to resist incoming spells. That's just always on. Let's see. Happy to oblige. Neat. All right. It's pretty strong. Known there were that many in the water. 
Let's get the hell out of here. Had another one of your talks there, didn't you? You gonna share details, or do we gotta guess? I was rather hoping someone else would bring that up. Yeah, right, fair point, that. You don't oh, yeah, you guys didn't hear me that time. shit. So I take it that's a good sign? Anthes is heading to a place called Magrin's Teeth. That sounds ominous. <laughs> I'm ready to chase Gone if you are. Hey, this is not what I expected. All right then, let's do this. If you keep the souls, interesting. Does the game actually care about like? Um, how many souls you have? Like, if she keeps reaping them after this point, does it matter anymore? I assume it doesn't. Gotcha. Scale bellied cowards. I knew they'd run. Did you though? Look at our beacon. Even the Colossus couldn't destroy it. And those snakes aren't so tough now, are they? Never give up and never back down. <laughs> you sound like a trencher. Trencher. Friendly term, Ramatians use refer to one another. Oh, okay. We'll rebuild bigger and better, with reinforced walls and extra cannons. Our engineers will make this place truly impregnable. The Hanzanui will want to thank you personally for your help here. And she should also know what we're up against. Uh, she's back at... She's usually at the Brass Citadel yeah, in Nakataka. Nakataka. Though she gets called to the palace often, haggling with the Queen and the Valians. Head to Looking Margaret's for a real teeth. challenge after what you did to those scale bellies? The only thing I know about the place is it's supposedly made of fire. And no one's ever come back from it. It's made of fire. <laughs> I don't think I need the second but one. Anything can be overcome. Clear skies. Clear skies. Something, something. Light of Aethys be upon you, neighbor. Are you looking for survivors? Are you one of the children of the Dawn Stars? Sure, lady. About my age. Came from Deerwood with her son. Uh, let's see. Freckles, braids, usually. Punches you in the arm if she likes you. Face, if not. Oh, well, that's if you're lucky. No, that doesn't sound like anyone. I don't think you'll have much luck around here. I know all my neighbors. Give me a real challenge. You guys don't need to keep playing the bummer music. Alright, let's get out of here. I guess I'll stop back at Nikitaka, tell the Hazanui. So is that effectively the end of Shoti's personal side quest? I do like that kind of Bioware style approach to hope shit. Sango is a mound of wreckage on the horizon when you see a dozen junk sailing towards you. One of the ships pulls up alongside yours and a well-dressed Amawa man approaches the edge of the deck. I am Atsura, Grand Secretary of the Royal Deadfire Company and Special Emissary of the Ranganui of Rawatai. Okay. Emperors, whatever. Surprises me you've largely escaped notice in the streets of Nakataka. I suspect that will soon change. What's this about? Pleasure to meet you. Your manners do you much credit. I want to extend the thanks to the Royal Deadfire Company for what you've done here. You've restored a valuable asset. Whether or not that was your intention. Okay, so they've given me two breadcrumbs to go back to Nakataka. 
You need to reach the Ashen Maw in Margaret's teeth. The sailors stare at you in shock and horror. <laughs> it gives you a brittle smile that does not reach his eyes. Forgive my compatriots, Mogren's Teeth is a volcanic chain along the northeastern edge of the Deadfire. I think I've actually been there before. Oh yeah, the giant said to be born of Mogren's Volcanoes. They, they kicked my ass before. Even our well-armed ships don't venture there. Okay. Seriously, go to Nekataka. Got it. Find yourself standing in the knee-high grass of an endless field, with the day just falling into dusk. Then, the earth falls away. The wind ceases, and you are sent tumbling up into the dark of the sky. Watcher. The voice hey. of the pallid knight shakes the earth at your feet. What's up, goddess of death? You have returned to Bareth's realm. Your soul once more called to attend the wishes. I'm starting to look forward to the these chats. This shit again? Wow. Once again, you have spoken with the child of light. Tell me what you have learned. Thanks for Magrin's teeth. Intriguing. The pallid knight stares past you, pensive. I like to imagine the narrator, I forget the voice actress's name, just having like a stack of index cards. And like whenever she has a really long pause, she has to like go to the next card. While at hand. Tell it's me a card that just says pensive on it. Her words ring out, and a heavy silence descends. In the silence breaks the murmur of countless voices. They speak all at once in languages both known and unknown to you. In the space beside Bareth, an eye blinks open, followed fast by several more. These are all the other gods? What's the creepy eyeball god? It's a fucking Nyarlathep over here. They are round, keen eyes of kith, the slit eyes of snakes, the small, dark marbles of birds, the bulbous lanterns of deep sea fish. Here we are. A figure walks through the cloud of eyes as one might step through a door. It is an Orlan, then a pale Chaos deity. An ocean human, a naga. Very Lovecraftian. Them, that Ibis. image at least is. Oh, great. They are well. God of secrets, revelations, illusions, cryptography, obfuscation, perception, dreams, and visions. It is a mystery with no consistent form or gender. It's cool. This is the first interesting thing to happen in ages, and we do so love a riddle. The figure wears an Amawa's grin, and the many voices beneath its own titter. Yes, it's so interesting when hundreds of kith die, so Aethys can take a stroke. We have read the book of your life, Watcher. It is heavy with the weight of your choices. And the pages are not unmarred by the blood of others. I do like they have the stacked voices on those. Scale. It's like we're not going to do post-processing effects for most of our characters. We should probably do it for the gods at least. We see between the strings of the world, and Eosis is there, strumming them like a lute. His tongue is still, yet he sings of a coming joy. What tune he plays, we do not know. It is complex, ever shifting. One moment vibrating in harmony. The next discord. A man strides through the door to Bareth's realm. Behind him lope wolves with lolling tongues and jungle cats whose long tails. This sequence, every step. it strikes me as like you're the DM that's done a lot of work on your world building and you've tried to convince your party to read up on your lore and know what things are. And you're like describing it. This, it works in this game because if you have these little tooltips that tell you who the characters are, right? But <laughs> you're the DM, you're describing it, it's like someone walks in with two wolves and you're hoping the players are like, oh yeah, it's the god with the two wolves. I remember that one. Galloway, they just look at you completely arrives, dumbfounded. Like, what are you talking about? Of Hunter god, places. right? Assassins, pursuit, wilderness, predatory creatures. Fast on Galloway's heels, a small wave of seawater washes across the tiles. 
It pours off the edge of the platform and cascades down into the beyond. From out of the water rears a glowing lure, then the head of a gigantic fish. Guess that one was Andra. Round huh? black eyes of Andra, roll to meet yours. Aeothus is nothing if not resourceful. I admire his nerve. In the changeling's voice, you hear the soft patter of rain on leaves and the rush of wind through treetops. That scene in the office where um, Robert California is like trying to tell a story that scares everyone and he knows that Kevin is afraid of mummies, so he like gives this long, like paragraph long monologue describing a mummy and Kevin doesn't get it, so he's like, for they were mummies. And Kevin's like, no. <laughs> it's it's Andra. I could say she has a fish head and four boobs. It's it's the Andra lady. Aren't you worried? No. He is a creature of the pack left long alone. Without our strength behind him, he is weak. If his journey leads him back to us, he has proved himself worthy of return to the fold. Aethys does not return to us. He returns to execute some grand plan. We must stop him. Andra's voice rises like a tide, panic riding its crest. It's not what I expected that fish head thing to sound like. <laughs> the doors lining the walls of Barith's realm slam open in unison. Tried with whale, well, I guess. Warped pieces of ancient armor and the remnants of discarded weapons roar through the doorways. They meet in the center of the room, in a oh shower God. of sparks and form, the vague figure of a man. Finally, a blacksmith's sledge hurdles past your shoulder, and the figure snatches it from the air. A man forged in metal stands before you. Twin flames ignite in his eyes, and a low rumble starts in his chest. He walks forward. With each halting, jerky step, you're assaulted with the unbearable screech of metal grinding upon metal. We should destroy Aothas, that we might reforge him into something new, something stronger. Is that how gods work? He could be a weapon that all of us might wield. Abaddon's words carry the heat of the forge. Behind oh, them, God, hey, the clang and clatter of though. hammer on metal, and the hiss of just quenched steel. Abaddon. Abidon speaks with wisdom. The other gods don't seem too concerned. He violates not their realms, but mine. I feel his urgency in every stamp of his feet along my spine. I will send tsunamis to slow him. If Margaret would stir the earth beneath Margaret's teeth. The water at your feet recedes. Lava oozes up through the shallow water and a woman made from the guts of the earth emerges. She settles her characteristic broadsword on her shoulder and sighs a cloud of smoke and ash. I think we already talked to Magrin way earlier. Magrin Maybe episode returns. one or two. In the age when our steps carved valleys across the face of Aeora, our bodies were impervious to all but the strongest attacks. I doubt fire and water will be enough to stop him. But I will bear down upon Aethys with all the heat and fury of the earth. If I must. Might not be another chance worth trying. Thousands of kith will die. The death of thousands now could prevent the death of millions later. A difficult calculus, but a logical one, too. The deep, bellowing cry of an aurochs shakes the ground beneath your feet the cry <laughs> all the gods have to get their on, turn here a moan without end it's the kind of thing that i think you only draw attention to it when you've got a narrator that's having to explain it while's many eyes squeeze shut andra slips back beneath her waves Magrin dissipates in a swirling cloud of steam galloway's beasts cower and whine only the pallid night stands impassive my end comes to all things in time should aethus care to hasten the inevitable i welcome his efforts death and i are well acquainted i welcome its return 
If he hopes to bring about the end of the world, he'll die too. What could Aethas possibly gain by destroying Aeora? Aethas seeks a slate wiped clean. Oh, okay. Freedom from the endless revolutions of Barath's wheel. The final emancipation Ending of reincarnation, the basically. stolen mortal lives the gods hoard within themselves. The child of light will not choose the hour of my death. Magrin tests the edge of her broadsword with a smoldering finger. He sows chaos in his longing for a radiant dawn. So much will be lost in the cacophony of fear his actions inspire. The crack of thunder rends the air. The gods fall silent. We can wait no longer to act. Speak with him, Watcher. Discover what it is he plans. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Water begins to creep across the floor. It swells, runs swiftly, and catches at your ankles. You scrabble at the tiles, but it's no use. The current's pull drags you off the edge of Barith's realm and into the fathomless beyond. You splash down in water so dark you can't see the bottom. Then, the water recedes, gone like a dream upon waking. The hard wood of your cabin's floor presses against your spine. The gods are gone, but you remain. Man, that was like <laughs> tabletop as fuck. <laughs> Just needed to have the GM like apologize for having a long script to read beforehand. Right. Watch and learn. Yeah, tell me what's on your mind. You need me, I'll be two whoops and a holler away. Having a tick, Cap. I'll be thinking that uh, if I be dragging you into these depths, you deserve the full sounding. Happy to listen. Huh? When I were a wee swabby, fresh to the sea, it were Romaro that showed me the ropes and rigging. More than that, he uh, kept his weather eye open for me. The sea be a right poxy oar on occasion, and life aboard the sorcerer, that and more. Malnash, our ship hunter. She were all uh, wet and bothered for doing me harm. And Romaro, uh, he protected me. Mentored me too. Learned me letters and navigation. Handed down the Principe traditions. In time, we became close as kin or closer. Let's ask immediately, were you we're romantically involved? Family. Uh, he ended up in trouble. Right, fantastic fucking question, Cap. Uh, word out were mutiny. But I'll be putting about as much stock in that as a dockside doxy for manners. Although I don't normally be singing no praises of veracity, Cap. But in the matter of Romoro, I'll be hunting the truth. I love the way Seraphim's written. He told me a lot about the two of you and not much about uh, him. Fair. He be of old Valey in stock. A good man and righteous. <laughs> Not honest, of course, but honorable. Were our shipboard soul bones more than our fandy at it? More than one swabby be on the old salt at a furrow from the wheel. Were you romantically involved? Oh, Cap, you be feeling a bit of the old envy? Nay, we never shared a bunk. Not that I'd have kicked him out of a hammock, but uh, like I said, we be family. He never took advantage. Why did this one want to hurt you? Well, only knows, Cap. She treated me like more mere presence gave offense. I feel like a lesser game would do the Star Trek D&G thing and, like, have a discussion on the kith being fully functional. Are all the kith able to bang each other? And are all of them able to produce crossbreeds with one another? Thanks, Cap. I'll be holding you to it. Ahoy, Captain. What can I do you for? Uh, later. I actually remember how to get back Captain, to the board. 
What's on your mind, character I will probably never use? What, did Ishii defecate in your favorite helmet or something? You've spoken to Aethus, which means you know what we're up against. If the fleet sailed up to him and fired every cannon at once, I imagine we'd have a fighting chance at taking a chip off his kneecap. There's no stopping him, is there? Not everything can be solved through violence. Get used to it. That's how things Says get done the in the eating barbarian. I suppose there's a certain appeal to recognizing the inevitable. We don't have to waste our breath trying to stop it. Nice if the gods summon the courage to intercede. Said every sailor whose ship started taking on water. It reminds me of the first time I shot to kill. I'm sorry, not interested. I have to hear this. There he stood. A pirate captain barking orders from the forecastle. Out of everyone's range but mine. The wind toyed with us. I took aim, never thinking I'd make the shot, but then I felt this awareness, like someone out there was aiming me. A cannon blast took me by surprise. I squeezed off a shot, expecting it to fly wide, but the bullet took my target between his eyes. I don't know if Barreth kicked open a door or the Sky Mother held my hand, but that man was meant to die. I've got that same feeling now. Better or worse, I know that Aethys is meant to succeed. Question your career choice. Thank you for the helpful reminder of my own insignificance. Choice is a funny word. I never planned to live by the gun. One day I put a bullet through a bronze oa while the Ranganui happened to be watching, and the rest was history. I can still take pride in my work, if that's what you're asking. I will tell if Aethys getting what he wants is good for the rest of us. Oh, I didn't take the wind out of your sail. Whether or not we can change anything, at least we can say we were there. That's more than most people get. Maya has, like, Britney Spears level vocal fry. Agrasima, Casita, for taking me on. No problem. Just hangs back and shoot things, doesn't require a lot of micro. Gotcha. You must gather. Yeah, they're my party. I only have one person. Give me a real challenge. Great and terrible things are at work. And once again, you seem to be in the middle of it. So I do. The Rawatayans we passed will doubtless spread word of what you've done in Hasongo. But others will want to know what you've seen. They'll look to you for answers. Or truth. You make it sound so simple. Don't you worry what will come next? What events you might move forward? What's this really all about? It reminds me of the question that drew me to the dead fire. The one I've been avoiding. I promised to tell you what I was doing among the Animancers at Port Marge. As you may have guessed, I was observing them. Gathering information on the various Animancy operations in the region. Operations. Thought you were looking for a particular leaden yes, key group. Yes, how better to draw them out. Anamancy is a subject of particular interest to the leaden key. Through it, I hope to pick up the trail. So remind me, what was uh, Theos' relationship to the leaden key? Was he like the leader of one cell? Was the leader of the whole thing? I was kind of under the impression that the organization crumbled after the end of the first game, but it sounds like that's not the case. Merely a first step. After that incident in Old Valia, I thought more about the leaden key and its particular composition. So put the ticks and robes, as I recall. If you two are finished, it's existed for over two thousand years. Say what you will about its motives and methods, but that's an impressive tenure. That's when I realized how short-sighted I'd been. To think I could undo the leaden key without understanding how it works. Hater does not like the leaden key. Nope, stream's still up. Not that six can you hear me. Uh, listen. I found references to an ancient leaden key cabal in the dead fire. Possibly one of the oldest, if accounts are credible. Okay, so me remembering that they kind of had cells is not inaccurate. And they appear to have been working independently, without direct intervention from Theos. For almost two millennia. 
How do we find them? Now there's the challenge. Most sources refer to them as the Painted Masks. But I haven't met anyone here who knows that name. I don't know where in the Deadfire they are exactly. But I was hoping we could look for them together. Find an ancient leaden key sect somewhere in a monster ridden archipelago. Sure, easy. I'll help as best I can. That's all I ask. Okay. I got time. You apparently have nothing to say. There we go. Spirit lights on the railing of your ship. The mist of bound to its leg bears the sigil of the Kahanga tribe. Whom I honor to host the savior of Asango with a command. They really want me to go back to Nekataka. Okay. <laughs> the palace atop Serpent's Crown could be your second home. I wonder if all of those, because there was three reminders, right? Uh, I wonder if those were all in the game originally, or if any of them got patched in. I think y'all were talking about a couple things that got patched in eventually. Like that conversation we had with... Oh, I forget who it was. One of the gods. We have a, we have a book. Filled in some gaps from the first game. Is it Mogren? Okay. That was not in the original release of the game. Oh, Wurika. Right. Right, right, right. Because she was missing from that previous conversation. That was basically the antagonist, sort of, of the first game. Why was it not one of the gods that I remembered from that conversation we just had where everyone was there? The other gods don't like Wittica and they don't like Aethys right now, right? Watch and learn. Oh shit, how's Nui's gun? Your coming is a favorable omen already. The Hazanui's gone. How's that? You happen by a time when our rivals bicker and tear at each other's throats. <laughs> it does not take a priest to see how the gods send us an outsider to dig under the skin of our enemies. Some pretty good sarcastic genre conscious responses, yeah. Now the... They're pretty good at giving you a wide breadth of things to say in the dialogue system and lots of very creative options whenever you get one of those like tabletop DM skill challenges. I you know, like the one we just had where you had to like turn a cannon and it was a strength check but you could use if you had fat in your inventory you could use fat to grease the wheels. Like that sounds like something good. A player would come up with and a good DM would say yes to. Honored to meet you. For my sister, Kohopa fashioned me for the arena, not the court. I will not paddle around the island. My sister wants to know if you are as useful as you are disruptive. She trusts me to judge this. Ikira, but I hear whispers that you visited the Hazanui's Adra Lighthouse and survived. I did. What does Ikira mean? Screaming an emphasis. Too much has happened for you to waste words with the royal. From now on, you work with Onikaza as an honored guest of her rooftop garden. Only, be kind to her cats. I had if some questions. Have questions. The royal brother will hear you. Actually, I'm good. But yeah, I think the uh... consider it done. The strength of the writing and the dialogue is this game's one of its strongest suits. It has a lot of strong suits. You must gather your I 
I'm more invested in the setting as of this game than I was in the first one. My brothers and sisters have set Raji sail for Nikitaka. To feed the I thought eel. the tribes needed them to calm the weather. A greater storm surrounds this place. We must answer the call of the Kahanga. If the outsiders do not trample us first, the Green God will surely do it for them. Do not speak this way, my love. Exceptional large shield. Storm Speaker's warning. Okay, so I want to find the Hazanui and the Queen. Neither of them are in this building, which is where I thought they would be. Queen's on the roof. Oh, I didn't realize there was another floor. Thanks. I see. You Thank you. Your party before venturing. I missed the zone transition. Very pretty. I think that that's someone else's. Oh, it's the back of their head. Okay, I thought it looked like. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It is high time we hey, spoke quest away XP. from the exhaustive filter of the court. My children, Kohopa and Tangaloa, it is to them that I answer when dignitaries do not pound at my door. Huh. So I don't think this has been established, but like the queen is that the ruler is divine, like in Egypt, referring to the aspects of the god of death as her children is interesting. I think I speak for all of us when I say we'd be honored to pet your children. Oh, she just named her tigers after the aspects of the death god. Okay, that makes more sense. Thank you. Go on, Ader. Take the honors. Trick with cats, course, is you gotta ignore him first. You get him interested. We are of one mind. My mother taught me to bait an enemy into the open, give it comfort and confidence. A messenger from the jaws of Tangaloa speaks with the voice of wisdom and change, I say. It is fitting that yours should be the voice that tells of Hasongo's fate. What did you see there? So Naga occupied the colony after Aethas drained the Adra. I let them live. The snakes are on edge. Where comes this new boldness? Far be it for me to complain if they make trouble for outsiders. What of Aethas? Whenever you, you see it in italic, she's the dead fire, speaking speak to me on. telepathically. He makes for migrant seat, but I believe that is only a waypoint. Thank you for insight. If Aethys makes for Magrin's teeth, I say the Rathun will grind him to dust for the praise of their warrior matron. Even if they fail, it will be an enemy cleared for my plate. 
Yeah, I killed 80% of them, and I'm not the ones with the dialogue tree live. Prothoon? The fiery children of Magrin devoted to their mother with a fanatic zeal. Bothersome, but the least of my troubles now. From Port Maje to Hasongo to Magrin's teeth, Aethys follows a rich vein of Adra. It takes him northeast to more interesting territory. In the deepest memory of the tribes, we have told stories of Magrin's teeth. Embellished sailors' fables, Akira, but not without some truth. My people speak of treacherous seas, lakes of fire, and the ancient warriors hammered to life on Magrin's anvil. In past timelines that I abandoned after quick saving and quick loading, I met those ancient warriors. Ashen Maw is the grandest and most accessible of the peaks. It is the sharpest tooth in Magrin's jaw. Any chance Prepare of support ships? I'm curious what the reason that we can't have them is going to be. Akira, would that our resources were not so entangled uh, in other parts. Uh -huh. I cannot send ships to Magrin's teeth any more than I would send paper dolls to a furnace. Well, I guess that's fair. If you make preparations in Nekataka, I say we can help each other. I must keep the city's peace, and I have only so many arms and eyes. While the dead fire screams, I would see Nekataka outlast the storm to come. You need for me. What I need is a lasting peace that will outlive my dynasty. But I will accept peace of mind for now. What do you know of my water shapers, Herald of Barra? Uh, I have points in history. I know they gave Rawatai no end of trouble in their early advance. Akira, if you recall history, then you know why I am protective over the guild. My water shapers are the levy holding back Rawatai's advance. An adept standing at the prow of a war canoe is enough to send the fleet scrambling for the shallows. This reminds me. I owe the Hazanui a basket of koiki in remembrance of the Battle of Nakaro Atl. Rautai encroached on Juana lands and made an enemy of the Wahiki tribe. Bloody conflict came to a head at Nakaro Atl. Water crown dispatch water shapers to sink Rautai's most prized vessel. Huh. Poking the hornet's nest? That is Aruihi's job, but Akira, there is a side of diplomacy which I enjoy. She winks. While the problems of Aethys and overindulgent admirals plague these waters, I have summoned the masters of water shaping to Nekataka. Now would be the time to confer with Guildmaster Myru, but she does not answer my summons. Do you think something's wrong? It is too early to grow a forest from this coconut, but <laughs> I would not dispatch you if I felt at ease. The guild can suffer no setbacks. If Myru shirks her duties, her queen would know the reason. Getting more... Good payoffs from the idiom department. Nagati, do not abandon us now. I feel like getting to work in the idiom department is someone's dream job, right? Like getting to write MMO quest puns. All right, let's take ten minutes and level everybody up real quick. Let's keep pumping into stealth for now. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't realize the leap was a barbarian ability. I guess that makes sense. Uh, so barbaric blow has been kind of underwhelming so far. Barbarian kills the target. Their initiative is instantly cleared. Wait, so does that mean that they basically get to act again immediately? Rage cost is refunded. Five percent of hits converted to crits. Five percent resistance.
Increase max health per level. Oh, 50% chance interrupt on critical hits. It's a chance for a chance. I can't roll with that kind of thing. Plus 5% crit rate's not terrible, though. It's retroactive. Seems like that's pretty good, then. Take the one that lets you go again if you get a kill with this. Aider to Annex, I guess. Increase the party buff. Survival. Where inspiration is improved to the intuitive inspiration. I still basically never use that ability. Significant additional penetration. Reflex defense up. Fortitude defense up. Extra engagement. Oh wow. 20% crit rate? Aider's so unique weapon is single, is one handed, right? prefer this if I was having him as a two-handed weapon, but I don't think I am right now. Oh, you're not allowed to use a shield? Lame. Oh, really? I can switch? Oh, cool. I don't think I realized that. Thanks. Careful with stuff that costs the same currency as finishing blow, because it's really strong. Benedict, hey. Andrea. I'll put this bag away in a second. <laughs> Concentration. Two additional quick item slots, huh? Chance on a chance as well. Yeah, the problem I'm running into now, everything uses guile. <laughs> Here uses discipline, right? I guess the stances. Thunder stance is good for holding against groups of enemies. Cleaving stance is effective when attacking several enemies at once. Warrior stance is best for standing toe to toe on a single enemy. So you can just basically swap these stances and uh, it just gives you like a flat buff whenever it's on. Because this description doesn't really sell the stances to you very well. Means it disengage the fighter immediately attacking prone. Is it good? Okay. It's free and doesn't consume a resource, which is why I'm taking it. Let's see. Alchemy. Sure. Taking the concentration thing might actually be worth it. Thank you. Co 
Arcana, Metaphysics. New fifth level spells. Seems good for him. Ooh, rapid casting. That looks like that matters a lot of the time. Oh, those are both really good. Shit, fuck health for now. I'll get that later. Faster casting and further casting. Thanks, game. Cast speed makes more sense in real time. I think it still affects. I've had issues where I'll go to cast the fireball and it'll go off too many turns afterward. Kins combat with additional focus. Increased max and starting focus. So this is like strictly worse than this one. Little backlash. I don't think I've had that trigger yet at all, unfortunately. Far casting, probably gonna end up taking that. Tactical meld. Connects the cipher's mind with an ally, granting the cipher and their ally the aware inspiration. An increased engagement limit. Fervorating wave to wash over all near the target ally, granting friendly characters a resolute inspiration. And removing concentration of enemies. Resolutes the region one. Plus five resolve. And gives him concentration. Okay. Prints an insidious and powerful compulsion to obey the cipher across all enemies in the area of effect, but dominating the target and charming all others. Damn. That seems potentially busted. How is charm different from dominate? Dominate lets them use active abilities. Okay. Because you wouldn't want to use it on all of the enemies, but it would be enough to, like, nuke someone down. Near death targets explode, causing crush damage to all in the area of effect. Just specialize a party that is really good at killing bloodied and near death enemies. Charm is easier to counter. Okay. Well, these all cost 50 focus, and I'm still kind of struggling with my low focus ability, so I'd rather start with more. It's a shame that starting with more... I wish it was a region increase or something. Probably take it as next level up. Yes. Aloth has something to say. <laughs> I like your thoughts on all of these things. Did you ever make it As back a to the deer? Of fact, I did. I saw my mother for the first time in years. How was your mother? She was well. She'd been living with her thane for quite some time. I don't think she'd been to see my father since I left. I used to blame her for her long absences, for not intervening directly with my father. I like the way they did multi-classing in this game. It seems pretty elegant. Remind me, what happened with your father? He was an exacting man with a violent temper. One that often found its outlet in me. Sorry, you lost. It was decades ago now. I'm just pleased I could come to a better understanding with my mother. Oh, that's cool, sir. I realized that she was torn between two demanding roles. And two demanding men. I used to resent her for failing to protect me. But... I understand now that her absence is what allowed me to grow. Intentionally or not, she gave me the space I needed to learn a degree of independence. I'm happy for Thank you. It felt good to resolve that much. Sounds like it was a good trip. It was. That's all.
so sure I believe you. What am I thinking right now? No way. Head mode, cat. <laughs> now. Hey, it don't work that way, lass. I pick up on feelings, see fragments of memories sometimes, impressions, and mostly when folks are upset, it's a nerve. Unless I'm trying to intrude, and I generally try not to intrude. Intruded on me the moment we met. Ah, that were an accident. If anything, you be the one that were intruding on me. Oh, well, you could take a gander if you wanted. I mean, not all the time, just this once. As you wish, lass. Sarah looks at Shoti with an uncommonly serious impression. His eyes drill into her. Blinks like his so eyes are burning. See? Light or dark? What do you see? Neither, lass. Bounced off you like a bullet off an ironclad. <laughs> Anything I should know about? Perhaps. Let me be ruminating on it for a tick, Captain. Do you like having intra party stuff like that? Big head kitty, what you got for me? Prissy. Well, 15% healing done. Oh. Everyone gets 10 health per kill? I guess 10 health isn't that much now. It was a while ago. Oh, well, it is for some characters. I don't know, that seems pretty good. What's my current dog? Stride bonus, fuck. Oh, which is the person who does the kill. Okay, that's less OP than I thought it was. Because I wouldn't really benefit from the plus 15% healing done. Okay, and then I want to find the Hazanui. Brass Empire, Brass Citadel. Okay, I feel like that would be the dream with most of the multi class setups. Uh, SERP to like abuse the mechanic in some way. So it kind of boils down to an opportunity cost problem that you have more activated abilities to use, it's not super great because you're still going to use the one that's the most useful on that turn. I guess maybe it's better in real time where you're probably going to use all of your abilities instead of just your best ones. Chanter's a good multi-class for that reason, yeah. I'm big into stacking passives in a game like this. My main example of that problem I think is Diablo, spe specifically Diablo 3, where it's like on any given tick of the game you can only do one thing. So what's, even though you have six abilities or something like that, it's almost correct to have five passives. Maybe four passives and one escape ability and then your, your main thing that you do to deal damage. I don't know how you fix that. I guess you have everything has cooldowns or you have things that reward you for using different abilities in quick succession. Oh no, Ravidon's a bummer. Those are, the, those are the hardest ones to try to resolve. Is there any more info from FromSoft? Is it just a remaster of Demon Souls? There are rumors about a Bloodborne re-release, but I don't know if that's actually going to be a thing now. Imperial Command, presumably. Why does Yoronga carve his name into a rock? New map discovered. Pazanui, sup? Stop walking around. Sup? 3375 XP. 
the former Lord of Cadnua and one time terrifier of harbor masters. If Dockside tales are to be believed. <laughs> Man, you get a lot of value out of that. Summon a ghost at the docks thing. Other than Hasongo, you have not brought much good news of late. It's been referenced like five or six times in Nekataka. So, in addition to pirates, profiteers, and slavers, the dead fire has a vengeful god roaming its waters? That's the shape of it. Just what the archipelago needs. One more disaster tugging at the seams. He must be stopped. Finally able to get a good look at her. Not large for an Omawa. Sea orc, right? Carries her shoulders high. Weathered face looks to have seen many storm blown and sun beaten days on deck. Her eyes are sharp and keen. He's a giant made of living otter that can absorb souls in an instant. Got any ideas? When he needs to recharge his cell phone battery. Anything can be stopped with sufficient force. The problem is finding the will to deploy it. Huh. The Valians won't lift a finger if it isn't to snatch a coin. And the Huana will barely do that much. No one takes charge to solve the big problems. But perhaps we could work together to our mutual benefit. What do you mean? Look around. Dead fires full of fertile, tempered islands. Except for Andra's mortar. It's largely free of rough weather. Oh, she's got a prosthetic. Yet and much of it is uninhabited. Cool. Itinerant tribes drift between some of the islands, and smugglers and slavers cluster around the rest. It's a waste. Imagine what this place could be, with well-guarded shipping routes. How many Rawatayans we could feed with plantations here? What does it have to do with me? You've got a good head on your shoulders. Deadfire needs more of that. If you're chasing the god who's stomping this place into the ground, then we have a common goal. And if you're going to survive here, then you could use an ally. Aeth is stomping around the dead fire is a pretty great ticking clock. <laughs> like, it's very obvious where the source of the drama is and what the main story is focusing on, even if it might be silly that you can leave him alone and side quest for dozens of hours. What do you have in mind? You've already helped us immensely at Hasongo. Once repairs are done, we can resume much needed shipments from the farms back to Rawatai. Webcam. There you go. Chill out. It's also a welcome indication that someone around here can get things done. Atsura, our Grand Secretary, has a plan that would make use of your unusual talents. His office is downstairs. He can tell you more. What's all that black powder at Hasunga? Noticed that, did you? Saltpeter is one of our chief resources at Rawatai. And we believe in putting resources to use. Now you can see why we didn't want the Valians nosing around our fort. What's the game board for? Hazatoa. Atsura and I usually have a game running. And this one's been going on for over a month and a half. Well, that's the name of the game, okay. Atsura's good at misdirection. But I've got a mind for the long game. You look like you've come with a purpose. What happened to your hand was a weird thing to ask. It happened a year into my first command. We were chasing pirates along Rawatai's south coast, and they landed a shop right next to our magazine. A lucky hit. I ran below. The fire was already spreading and making for our powder stores. I smothered what I could with my uniform, pulled the rest away with my own hands. Hmm. If you hadn't, you and your crew would probably have died. We don't get to choose our challenges, do we? Just the way we meet them. There's a cost to every victory. And the win goes to those willing to make a sacrifice. She considers the wooden hand, turning it in the light, and sends satisfaction in her gaze. I feel like in addition to having a idiom team, they also had a NPC flavor team. I'll bet you Just already do a pass on everybody. You about that. And if you don't, Deadfire will teach you soon enough. Stuff that's like not... Um, significant to the plot, but just kind of neat. I got our message all right. Did you get the freaked out kid? She's not happy. 
Lloyd's foot and an heavy bullet I kept. Well, that's definitely not happening. Can I at least see what's in there? Monsters of the Dead Fire Archipelago. Can I read books on a bookshelf? It looks like it let me get away with that. Uh, they're technically stealing without getting in trouble, was the rest of my question. Water Shapers Guild. I think I'm gonna try, until the game stops me, I'm gonna try to just push the main story until we're getting close to the end of it, and then I'll see what time we've got and do side quests from there. Right now I'm just completely overwhelmed by the number of side quests and places I can visit that will help me to process that, I think. Let's go. I just got a quest there, but maybe later. Should we progress the main story a little bit further? Let's go. Traveling in the slums of Nakataka when the streets become suddenly barren. Close high above the narrow alleys and tunnels of Nekataka's ghettos. Oh, ghettos into darkness. Okay, okay. I've seen the word ghetto used as a verb before. A reek of rotten fruit mixes with the gruesome scent of dead fish. Yeah, I know. If I, uh, if I weren't streaming this, I would, like, avoid the main quest for as long as humanly possible. And just side quest, side quest, side quest. That's how I play like Mass Effect, for example. Mm hmm. I think progressing the main quest that way, we did this in Skyrim as well. Like, I think we got to the penultimate quest and the main story quest, and we were not high enough level to finish it, so that was like with half the how long to beat still remaining, but it helped me to like better get a grasp on the length of the game and the scope of the game. Dressed in the rags of the fauna, grips a gleaming sword in both hands. She brandishes it wildly. Don't have... I needed to have a dexterity affliction? Huh. Stealth. Use the girl as a distraction and ambush the creatures. Draw the beast's attention. Failure. Don't think she's gonna die. Kill the girl? Kusi. Oh, an know? ability that applies a dexterity affliction. That makes way more sense. Torrent of flame. And everyone nearby. Bitter mooring. Freeze damage to creatures in its path. Anyone caught in the area of effect, anyone they hit. target with that what can I do you for all right now I start with 40 so I can cast everything right away this is kind of cool is this enemies only raw damage interrupting all nearby enemies I 
think I'm out of the range here. They're all just barely far enough away from each other. Bummer. Aider, buddy. Knock this guy down, I guess. Oh, they're all moving out of the range of the fire, but that sucks. Caspi didn't cut it. Still had a good chunk of them, that's good. Laser is really good damage, but it's gonna get pretty far. works. Ah, like uh, didn't quite kill him. Lame. Nice explosion. I did not know that. Yellow part of an AoE is safe. So it's like, it's not safe for enemies though, right? Okay. It's a way to make AoEs a little bit less dangerous. Iron gives a larger percentage of yellow zone. Can't do that again. Of course. I need like a way to region rage, it doesn't use an entire turn. in range of that lame. Thought they were safe. Absolutely. Yes. I'm good and stuck. I see, I can move it around. Now is that just gonna be channeled indefinitely or is it based on me not casting anything on the same turn? Twenty six damage. Yeah. It's a mobilized fuck. Yeah. 
pretty good. Let's hide it out. Victory. Yeah. Sure thing. I guess I can't heal her with that. Girl panting before you, draped in tattered reparty robes, bears a few bruises and cuts, but looks otherwise unharmed. Thanks, stranger. Don't think I could have made it without you. What are you doing out here? It looks like you had it handled. I just swept in to help clean up. <laughs> I doubt it. Thanks for saying so all the same. Anyway, I think you should have this for what you did and for what you can do with it. No, oh, give me the sword. Most Juana and the Gullet don't have your grasp of the Deeran. That's father's doing. He traveled all over and he insisted that I learn a Deeran, Valian, and Rawatayan. Is a Deeran the closest thing to like common? I even know a few phrases in Anutanic. Thank you. I'll use this blade well. No, thank you for coming along when you did. And what's more, for helping. It bums me out that, like, one of the easy ways to give you, like, positive morality is turning down rewards. <laughs> it's like negating content. Especially when it's, like, unique equipment. Griffin's blade. Well, that's cool. Days targeted nearby enemies on crit. Grants a loyal companion. Oh, it's an ability. Okay. Bolsters the party's courage, grants steadfast to the wielder, nearby allies when the wielder is bloodied. It's a lot of conditionals. I truly appreciate what you did. Not everyone in Nekataka steps in for a neighbor. I need to be getting back to Mother, though. I probably shouldn't take home scalder meat, should I? Probably not. All right, hold up. Oh, he already isn't great shield. Shit. I see. Because it tanks accuracy if you do. I don't have any fancy shields, so I guess I'll just keep him without it, because he has an accuracy benefit for not having one equipped. Probably fine. Is Gladiator Sword not upgradable? Let's see if Griffin's Blade is. No, that one's not either. Huh. Thought most of the uh, 1927, 21 to 30. Penetration 8. Accuracy 67. Yeah, I think this one's just strictly better than his Gladiator Sword. It has to have a little plus in order to be upgradable, right? Oh, there it is. Weird. Hound's Courage. Hound's Resilience, Hound's Speed. Is dual wielding? I assume dual wielding is like massive penalties, is it not? I used to really like dual wielding when I was a kid, but then most of the games I played give you massive penalties for doing it, so it kind of disabused me of wanting to try. A voice called out to you from an alleyway. I could talk as poorer districts host more dark than light. Pass by an alley, a voice calls out. You see a hand from the darkness. Balances a figurine. Works out to being better than an empty slot. Okay, gotcha. Magic. Summons beasts to harry your enemies. Save you in a pinch.
You want it, you follow. That seems like a bad idea, but you... God, so many random events today. Watcher, let me through. A meadow folk man emerges from the crowd. A red face and wild hair. Looking fervent as always, Tharn. Yeah. Heard about him. Strive to follow the light and godliness. You seem darker than usual, Harvester. It shrouds you, all that death and heresy. You're the one who saw the miracle when Aethys rose at Cadnora. You must be Lotharn. Yeah, his rising was a tragedy. People talk highly of you. It's no wonder Aethys shows you to witness his return. When having strange dreams, a wheel that spins and spins, an orchard of koiki trees, each grown from the fallen fruit of the last. Then the spokes of the wheel break apart, the trees stop growing, fruit falls and rots until the ground is covered with festering, stinking pulp. Okay, yeah. Ending reincarnation. Got it. Uh, because they're not sprouting new trees anymore. Somebody's been snacking before bedtime. Why are you telling me? In these dreams, I see you at the center of the wheel, in the middle of the orchard. You were there when Aethys rose, and you seem to follow every place he's been. Aethys has always meant rebirth and redemption. So much death follows on his wake, both in the Saints War and now here again. Is this what I sound like? Ader gives you a guilty grimace. Friend, I'd love to buy you a drink if it'd help. <laughs> Thanks, Ader. I know what this means. Death and rebirth are part of the same cycle. You can't have one without the other. Like this? So chaotic, so violent. My people followed Aethys to war once. I wonder sometimes if we failed him when we lost. Oh god. Uh, you've seen more than anyone. You have to have some idea what it all means and how to make sense of it. Figure it out for yourself. Don't rely on custom. It's a higher purpose to the god's actions. No. <laughs> Even gods must answer for their crimes. Gods aren't the only means to greater understanding. Your faith in your way of life has kept your people together during war and famine. Dawn stars have survived because of the community they form. You don't need Aethys for that. I do like together Kip can achieve much. Let's go with that. Never thought of it that way. Shoti's annoyed. Got it. Giving me a lot to think about. Thank you. Oh wow. What was it uh what was the gist of it, Six Gun? Okay. Ashen Maw. Ooh. Pretty high level compared to me. So. I'll give it a shot, see what happens. My morale up to 49. Concerned. So you sort of get bonus XP once you have a high morale. Uh oh. You are being pursued. 14th level wizard, yikes. So you may as well start with naval combat, right? 
still need to understand this a little bit better. 18 damage to the sails. Fire the starboard cannons. Chain shot. God, my hit chance is garbage. I feel like I shouldn't bother, I should just like board them. is in a decline, purchasing power parity, GP isn't. Oh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Still waiting for the other shoe to drop with the, the markets right now, right? I don't know if it's the most irrational they've ever been, but... I Weakness Frost. It's not gonna get to go until they all act, so I might actually just wait on this turn. Later. These guys will be easier than the last time I fought them, now that I'm a little bit higher level. Russian board. And you can board without even starting the ship combat part of it, right? I think these things breathe the fire, which isn't super helpful. Oh, they patched that in, or the principle of skip superfluous trivial steps. Gotcha. It used to be you had to just charge them and board. But it was always trivial to do that without any risk before. Gotcha. their turns, hopefully they don't move too much. Ordering always used to get better loot. Sure. Uh, I should have used the special ability. Womp womp. What can I do you for? He's still gonna get hit by the ice ball.
beautiful. Is paralyzed like causes them to miss their turn or something. down here and try to burn him down first. Yeah. Yeah. Knock this guy down. Caster is super slow, so you don't have any enemy turns between your castle when it goes off. Yeah, I think when you pass your turn, if you just hit end turn without doing anything, you use less initiative, so you can effectively do that. The cast speed still seems relevant. We need to get regular chins when their flaming beards go out. I'm guessing that's something that's not super visible when you have big head mode turned off. Yeah, right, six gun. It's infuriating. At what point do you think people like that are saying things because it encourages growth in the market and makes them more rich directly like it seems like that's a kind of a novice hot take it's got to be more to it than just that right yeah. fuck you guys a our first ship victory oh man Flame. Take all and continue. Like that's just auto looting all the bodies, basically. Went surprisingly well. I really like that. Fanfare noise. Thick smoke, black as death, plumes from the peak of a rumbling volcano, the largest in the chain of mountains that makes up Mogrin's teeth. A serrated fissure gapes in the mountainside, deep and dark but intermittently lit by a red hot glow. It's too narrow for the Defiant to sail through. Skiff sways tumultuously in the superheated water the closer you row to the cave's cracked opening. Lava burbles down the mountainside. Fan her noise has to be a bug. Influencing people who work for Congress, executive branch, think tanks, I see. It's, it's a repulsive ideology. So out of touch, you have to be, whoa, that's fucking cool. Nice, so you can just see that in the background. This where Gon stormed through? At least the docks are still intact. Skin of this dead giant remains hot to the touch. See a six gun, safe travels. Hey, a bunch of free primal flame. Slumped against the stones of the bridge, a giant clutches at his bashed-in chest. It's a mess of sinew and blackened iron bones, fiery blood flickering between his splayed fingers. Extinguished or crushed, us all, defiler. Sorry, I'm not a priest of Aethys. Short on history, it looks like. Um, one short. That's a bummer. That would have been nice. What happened to you? Damned 
reaper of souls and god of lies, Margren's most foul enemy. I need to get to Aethus. Servants of the Defiler God. Damn you. Soon glowers as you approach, dagger glinting in the light and flames. Grasp for you with a meaty blood burned hand, but his swipe is clumsy and weak. You effortlessly shove his arm to the side before stabbing the knife into his already ruined chest. You slit the warrior's throat. As fire blood rushes from his veins. Well, that was worth doing, even if we got nothing in return. All right, good action you did there, Captain. Here's hoping we don't be ending up needing that poison, though. Oh, they liked you as a fire god like? That's cool. At least this means they're all dead. Right? About that. I got this. We some modern at work too, yeah. It seems like there's a lot of content if you play as a priest. I don't be supposing we reckon this is what happens when you try to keep it going. Seems it's almost worth like dual class, multi classing priest just for the story options. Watch your footing, kids. Excepting if you can fly. Oops. Rockside collapsed this section of the keep. Were you allowed to come here before Aethus got here? I assume no. Segra. Margarin felled the defiler before. We will do so again. Next, it was Margarin that endorsed the god hammer nuke thing that they used to destroy Aethus. with ice damage. Hey. Should have done the bounce attack, that was a mistake. That's okay. I assume he's still considered in the path of the ice bolt thing. Nice! That was awesome. Hooray for the ice book, apparently. Ice grimoire. Concerned about that? Ain't the volcanoes in Margren's teeth supposed to be inactive? I got a bad feeling this one's waking up. It'll be fine. It's Nika. fine. Wait, hold on. I thought there were some other stone golems back here that I wasn't clicking because they weren't showing up the tab text. There we go. 
watch and learn. Okay. Don't want to skip them. Worth a decent amount. They're with gone now. Enemy spotted flame bats. Hey, dude, don't you cast an ice fire? Company. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, I missed. Lame. Oh, Jesus. Uh, hold up. Try it again, since there's way more enemies there. Probably send the hero forward to scout. Let's do this. He sure did. Mm -hmm. Leave it to me. Alpha strike in, please. So I'm not able to target where I want to target because that entity is there, I guess, in the way. I can't multicast. That's better. Break on me. Let's try to knock some of these assholes down here. Greater flame bites. I'm on it. I see. It hardly seems oh, fair. missed both of them. Bummer. Yeah, that corpse being in the way makes it really hard for me to target this ice. So I can use the yellow radius you're saying to be safe fish. Aloth alone. Yeah. Like, uh, tether attacks like this one, there's no safe zone for allies, right? If they're standing in the path of it, they're just in trouble, basically. Let's try this. Alright, so it says it should reset my initiative if I understood it correctly. Oh, it just means that I'll act as soon as possible. Okay, it doesn't let me act twice in a row, that's what I thought it meant. So maybe the other version that restores some of the... Uh, wrath is better. What for, Cap? Be blowing a man down. Nice. Kind of stuck Ish. over here. Some targeted enemies that don't get yellow zones at all. Okay. Yeah, I'll respect that later. I think that would be better to get the rage back. I they'll fall by my hand. Ahoy. What do you need? I 
Okay, some buy shit. Sweet. Went pretty well. I might rest here soon. So get the wound removed from Shoti. I guess it's not that bad of a wound. Loose grit and jagged boulder chunks littered the broken sections of the bridge. I really like that backdrop with Aethys. It's very cool. Just remember that oh, there's so few things in this game that aren't successfully highlighted by holding down tab that I like purposefully ignore a clickable thing. thinking you're a giant and one day that fella shows up at your fortress that was awfully profound is he bigger than the statue that was under Cadnua now or was it just a fucking gigantic castle Lair of the ancient jagged keep let's try the other one Fifteen floors. I did not do it, no. And the statue like exists on all the floors, basically. Oh wow, holy shit. So they were really, they were thinking ahead. Was that like the most obvious, uh, little setup for a sequel, or were there a couple other ones too? The first game. Flame of light, magma ooze. See what I can explore solo here. I'll probably have to reload when I get aggro. Right here. Oh god. wasn't even obviously a sequel hook at the time. It's not like all the constant sequel hooks in Horizon Zero Dawn. Seems pretty good. Yes. I didn't realize I had friendly fire on that. Good to know. Better the thing blew up and damaged my allies. Like yeah, combust disregard. Mm -hmm. He immobilized there. It was 
basically pointless because I got a, another turn right away since it didn't do anything. It's all coming together now. Watch me work. Hey there. Character abilities are starting to be pretty good. How may I help? I'm trying to remember, I feel like we played a game somewhat recently where it was frustrating that like the entire game seemed to be balanced around the end game version of the abilities, so the early game versions were just really bad. Cost too much to be worth using. Let's reap this whirlwind. Because you kind of have that going on in um, Shadow Hearts, where all the spells are unreasonably costed and not worth using because they're balanced around you having bought all of the cost reductions and efficacy improvements. Your monk main character got hard countered by oozes. Do they like reflect damage on you if you touch them or something? Some of them are just immune to crush, yikes. Two foot's fists. I'll take a peek. He waits in fire. I'm thinking this place ain't gonna hold up much longer. What say we hurry, Watcher? No clear route to the object below in this around the maw. Now and tremble are shaking the foundations of the maw. A ship shakes like this. It'd be past time to abandon it. That smell. I hope it's just their cook burning the meat. This place smells and feels like hell in the stories Uncle Angber used to tell me to make me behave as a child. Oh, stay guy. Also not highlighted. Reach for the soul. Yes, and slowly wafts through your fingers. You're a great champion, a goliath among giants, your chest type pride. Now something darker, a strange dread. Flickers inside of you like the fires of a waking forge, because you know you two are soon to be tempered as you stare down upon the distant god. The iron oh, fingers in someone? It's dirty. The iron chains that suspend the bridge beneath your feet drip blood and sweat, a weeping. The moth spans below, battered by the invader. A jacket keep even more apt at name. Hey, Andrea. Hey, sorry to interrupt on story. Times about the fingering of someone. The Rothan are led by their high priestess, the Brenthus, one of the few among the set of warriors the ability to hear Magrin's voice. Okay. So they're not all Viking fire or giant. Hey, everyone. Are you in a volcano? Yeah. Nice. Good art design. I knew immediately you were in a volcano. <laughs> I imagine it would be challenging to not know. You'd have to go out of your way to make a volcano not look like a volcano, right? I suppose that's true. There's lava. The air is kind of flickering with heat. Sit down, it just looks like a library. You're like, this is a volcano. This race for torque as if to call to the dragon, the light of its sheening home in the darkness. Submit to Magrin's will. Rest now, warrior. Your soul is safe with me. Sucks up her soul with a lantern. Cool. Yeah, so I guess I can't see it from inside here, but there's a giant god in here. Good God or a bad God? Uh, Yahweh or Jesus? Uh, On a spectrum of Yahweh to Jesus. Uh, the exact center? Interesting. Whoa. Oh, it's because of big head mode. Oh, Margaret's fiery flaps. That 
might be a flogging dragon that be. I'm gonna turn off the big head mode after this. Oh, that's why his head is so big. Yeah. <laughs> so I always apply to enemies. Who comes now to stoke the flames of chaos further? Have I not yet feasted enough? I suppose I can make room for another. Diplomacy the dragon. No, no. <laughs> that can't be healthy. Try again. Just realized how nature. lucky we are to have never run across a sewer dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously? I could use intimidate on the dragon? I have put a lot of points into it. Is that a sacred torque I see? I happen to be in the market for one. Come, let's make a trade. Attack me, beast, and it'll be the last thing you ever do. Oh, yeah! Woo! Nine intimidate. I am listening. Bleat louder, <laughs> little morsel. I must reach Aethys. Mogren would do anything to stop Aethys. If she erupts a volcano, you'll be destroyed, destroyed along with it. Should I believe the wretched words of a trespasser in my den? Even were it so, the fire feeds me. It can cause me no harm. Should I have these stats up higher? Believe me, dragon, I would not lie. Feed your circumstances for eons. Still, I will not believe. All right, never mind then. A wise decision. What? Why did the Rathun summon you during Aethys' invasion? We struck a deal. Eons ago. I did with a wily Brenthis. It's true, these Rathun fed me exquisitely for so long. But today, they sought my wings like a firestorm to battle, my fangs like hot spears to pierce a god. I am the heart of the fire. I cannot be controlled, not by a giant's weak will, and not by a sputtering. Trinket. That's why they're dead. The Rathun forged their deal when I was but a hatchling. Now no one controls me, and I would never fight a god for fools. Well, that's a relief. Thought we were fighting a dragon. This is just a big snake. With wings. And, and legs. You tricked the Rathun. Indeed, I did. But you, you seem far more clever. I must reach Aethys in the depths of the Maw. You think to ride me, the great firestorm in the Maw, to meet a blustering god? Uh, kind of, yeah, would that be cool? If the Rathun could not tame me, why should a little <laughs> wretch like hey. you fare better? Nine points in Intimidate, because if you don't help me, I'll tear off your wings. You will. The dragon's body flares hotter. I shall tell you this much, if only to keep you from my wings. Your path to Aethys lies through Margren, through her shrine within the Rathun's keep. I guess I miss out on her loot for not fighting her. Margren's it's unfortunate. shrine lowers it into the moor, so that a Brenthis may worship before the Ardra Pillar. See? How can I ignite the shrine? Why, I believe the Brenth is God, she's suddenly to very helpful. A certain talk that she tried to wield against me. Sadly for her, its power could not hold a flame to mine. But as it was the Brenthis's last sacrificial offering to me, you understand why I shall not allow it to be stolen. Is there anything about stealing? Ooh, 16 intellect. You're clever to covet a sacred relic of Magran's. Her power over fire is supreme, after all. Cherish one of Magran's abject trinkets. I do know <laughs> such a thing, wretch. I care nothing for her trifles. Take it. Hey, didn't have to buy it. Have no care for the that trinket. was easy. Intimidated it and outsmarted it. So why so many points in Intimidate? That's not really your bag. I figured I would try it, because it's not usually my bag. Okay. Oh. 
And how's it working out for you? I'm pretty good. Oh, there's some good shit over here, but it apparently counts as stealing, so... Well, you already put her in her place. Fight. Sneak around the dragon. Let's see what the dragon looks like without big head mode on real quick. That's just what it looks like? I, I think that it's trapped on big head mode or something. That's just what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, All displayed of Captain Crow. Read that in a second. Stalking. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, Renegade is the way to go. And maybe saving and loading would fix it. Alright, uh. We got a cloak. Sounds pretty cool. Plus one perception, plus two stealth. Plus five percent damage to weapon attacks made from stealth. 5% accuracy to weapon attacks made from stealth. Attacks made from stealth stun the target. I guess I could still get the benefit of that, because you stay stealthed even when combat starts. Because I've been using Aloth to do it like an alpha strike. As long as I don't get detected by the time I do an attack, and as long as he's close enough to them, I guess. 10 fortitude reflex will. Deflection. Take that. Alright, let's check out this sword. Alder's Blade of Captain Crow. 10% damage with saber, saber attacks, 30% damage, 8 accuracy, 2 penetration. Stormblade deals plus 10 shock damage to target on a critical hit. Plus 10% damage of shock. Further gains plus 8 health on a critical hit. I think that might be strictly better than one of my things here. 1927. 22, 32, accuracy 55, accuracy 51, initiative 0. 0.6. Did you get the quest item? Is that the, the trinket? Oh, I can make these now. Yeah, the torque. She just gave it to me. It's like, I don't need this shit. Plus damage with spells, well, that's too bad. It's the one that I can get now, though. Hey, we gotta level up there. All that XP for not having to fight the dragon. Hey, Renegade is the way to go. It's good to be- and, and intelligence. It's be a smart dick. Oh, there's a body over here. I guess it's not highlighted. Thanks, sir. I thought she just handed it to me because it said that it was complete. It's all purpley. Purple thing? No? Not the purple thing? Miss out on dragon scales. What is she doing? Is she like licking the wall? Probably the torque from the priestess's hand. I think she's just licking the wall. Reach for the salt. Is it like a salt? <laughs> I am burning! I am burning! I am burning! Well, stop licking the wall! And it is not no, this is the priestess's ghost. Mother Margarine. I should have listened when she said nothing! But I was willing to die to reach the Everflame, to sacrifice them and everything to ash, to vanquish the Defiler. And I am burning, but not in the flame. Not with honor and eternity, but for a moment. I am disgraced. Yeah, I don't really who, understand that. Who will lay the She's the priestess the that summoned the dragon. Away. This is her who last is moments before she died. The sacred spire, the mother's mind. Who will descend the shrine to the defiler's god's face? Not to these hands that are ashes sifting on a breath that is a last sigh of a wretchedly snuffed. She's very clawsy. Not to me and mine. <laughs> Like a now assist. she who was blackened and befouled and forsaken by the flames, forsaken by Margaran. Rest easy now, know. priestess. I'll harvest your soul and your torment too. Thanks, Shoti. What, what what are you gonna do with her soul? Just like take it around with you in a bottle? Shoti is a priest of the rebirth god, or an aspect of the rebirth god. So she like harvests souls and pulls them into her little lantern. And sends them to hell. I thought you said he was a reincarnation god. Yeah. 
So they re reincarnate in hell. I mean, that that is completely an option. Um, yeah, that's the rebirth god I'm chasing right there. That guy. You said he dude. was neutral. Eh. Yeah. The gods are have dicks. questionable motivations. Maybe, like, they're so they're kind of dicks. dicks. They're they're self interested. We'll put it that way. They're not real. I think I told you about this before. So they want to be praised. They're real, but they're built. They're created by Greek gods. They're created by old humans that were sad that they weren't any actual gods. Right, right, right. This, this, game. this this game. That's this game. Right. Keep it down. Ancient humans that ended up being more powerful than the than what they wanted gods to be, basically. Oh, everyone got to level up. Ten, spend ten minutes on that real quick. Ten quick. minutes? Yeah. It takes you ten minutes to level everyone up? Probably. Uh, <laughs> athletic. Well, well, shit, I'm trying to think of something to talk about for ten minutes. Um, Keep putting points in Intimidate. I was just watching Best of the Worst, and one of the movies was something about Bali, a night in Bali, or something about... Anyway... This chick was trying to learn the um, the ways of the black magic from a witch, and the witch taught her, and she like could remove her head along with her spine and her lungs and her intestines. So it was a head with these guts, and it would fly around, and it flew around, and it came to a pregnant lady, and it sucked the fetus. Well, no, I guess. Well, anyway, it sucked whatever was in her pregnant body right out. This is a bad movie that they this were watching best on best Red Letter Media. Media, yeah. The yeah. so YouTube channel that does movie reviews. That one is the best. Nice. Uh, but yeah, and I hadn't seen that before, where someone would just, you know, use choose. their mouth to, to suck out and, and eat a fetus. A stick so there you go. Weapon. That's a pretty good bonus. Today I learned. Slash, if you guys haven't watched Red Letter Media or know what Red, Le Red Letter Media is. Highly recommend it. Really funny. I mean, they're a little, a little pretentious, but they actually know their shit, so it's less annoying. It's the channel that did the Star Wars prequel reviews. Charge, vigorous defense. Movies. Forgot that. To remember to try using a stance next time. Lower their guard. Enemy's armor rating is significantly reduced for the next attack they receive. Allows the fighter to pull allies to safety if they choose. Will not harm the ally. Fighter becomes resistant to dexterity afflictions. Resistant to might afflictions. Additional defense against disengagement. So, does anyone have fun plans for the weekend? It's coming up. Damage bonus to proficient weapons. Uh, you know. Great. Self quarantine, stay home, maybe watch some movies. What determines whether I'm allowed to pick abilities from either class? Is that just like every X levels, every three levels or something, you can choose that? Well, if you're looking for something to do on Sunday at two o'clock mountain, so one o'clock his time, uh, we're gonna be watching. Star Trek The Next Generation. But you're doing that on Sunday instead of Saturday? Oh, I'm sorry. We're doing that, we're doing that on Saturday. We did it on Sunday last week. No, no, no. We're going to do Don't it. Don't ever give anything in Mountain Time. <laughs> Just make things as sorry, confusing as you We're going to do Star Trek The Next Generation watch party at 1 Pacific, U.S. Pacific, uh, on Saturday. Um, all right. So D&D, &D, nice, Serp. Are you, are you running it? What kind of character are you playing if you're not running it? He's DMing it. Oh, he's damn it? Nice. You get to play all the monsters. You know, um, Dietriar? So is that Jai's handle? Yeah. He did a D&D game once that I thought was awesome because he started us all at, like, level 10. Because he's like, no one like plays D&D starting at the beginning and, you know, makes it that far, usually. So he just wanted us to all start as badasses, and it was really fun. Temporarily invisible, it seems pretty good. And he likes bards. He was, uh, that game he was playing yesterday, there was this mariachi guy with a flamethrower guitar who was a bard. Bards, I think, are, um, were deceptively lethal. Enemies engaged by the rogue are distracted. 
Oh, I guess it's considered flanked as nice. So that, Dude, respect. That effectively means that whoever is engaged with Aider is always considered flanked regardless of the location of other players, unless if they're like immune to distraction or something. Skillful at dodging attacks. Hurts all. Reflex targeting grazes to misses. Additional defense against disengagement attacks. Definitely have a guile problem right now, so I can't keep Helps. taking. Giles, Giles is the shit. Guile, I have a guile problem. Guile is the currency for rope abilities. All right, good, because you talking shit about Giles, I'll smack you. When's the last time you watched Buffy? I've actually been rewatching it oh, while nice. you've been streaming, and I've had free time. Nice. Yeah, so it's kind of fresh in my brain. I think this is probably the best ability I can take right now. Let me just check, though. All right, go to 20 and finish the story. That's really good. That's, like, better than, you know, How I Met Your Mother that just goes on and on and on, and then they were like, oh, it's fuck, we meant to have this ending. Fuck! <laughs> How do we make this happen? And then bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And he's in love with Robin! Spoilers for How I Met Your Mother. You, you know, it's a very low bar, Serp. I have every confidence, every confidence that you can do better. 20% on a miss, 30% on a graze, and it has to it has to be a melee attack that misses him, so it's a chance of a chance of a thing happening. Reaching for this. What, do you, do you, think you can, do you really want some? No, I was reaching you know, for this to spray. For, okay. You know. <laughs> it's like, you can ask them, it tastes like strawberry. Actually, there's, um this podcast I was listening to when I was working in Nevada because I had to drive an hour and a half from the airport to get to the lab well get to the dorms and then I had to drive half an hour to get to the lab and so I had a lot of free time so I was listening to this podcast I forget what it's called now but it was uh oh maybe it was real crime profile real crime profile so they were talking about murder cases but they had like an FBI profiler so you could talk about like the mind and behavior behind it. Kind of like Criminal Minds on TV, but real life. And anyway, for the longest time on Criminal Minds profile, they would do uh, a commercial. And they did this commercial on Bud Light Seltzer. And it went something like this. Like, oh, yeah, it's Bud Light Seltzer. Might be confused. I don't know what it is. Is it Bud Light? Like a beer? No, it's a hard seltzer that is refreshing and delicious. No, it was the, the thing that was frustrating about the commercial was... <laughs> confused. It's the, Bud Light seltzer? It's the copy they gave her. Bud Light asked her to be confused for like 45 seconds about like what it was. And it's like, it's yeah, she, pretty obvious. It's, right. it's, it's, it's a, a seltzer. Hard, it's called Bud Light. If it wasn't Bud called Bud Light. Bud Light seltzer, I could see you being confused. Yeah, so now whenever we get it, I'm like, man, I'm so confused by this drink. Is it beer? Is it beer? Is it soda? It tastes like strawberries, but it's making me loopy. These conditional things. So many of these conditionals, I feel like they could just give them to you. Like, they could give you Crucible of Suffering for free when you get this level, and it wouldn't be game-breaking. Generates a shockwave around the monk each time he or she gains a wound, inflicting a small amount of damage and interrupting enemies. Well, you get wounds relatively frequently, and it's the passive, so... Seems good. Then I get a priest ability. So domain, circle of protection, create a large zone of divine shelter, granting allies a bonus to all defenses. Okay. Seems pretty decent. Shining beacon. Luminous beacon of light. Let me read what the passives are. Spell shaping. You're kidding about 10 minutes, were you? Increase the targeted area. Music is pretty cool. I like this music right here. Oh, it's a little chill, you know, we're not in immediate danger. This looks like it, this reminds me of a pretty specific warlock spell icon from World of Warcraft. See, that reminds me of a Salvador Dali photograph. Frightening enemies. Imbuing allies in the area with accuracy and might. Enemies receive penalties of the same. Single target the party inspiration. Death Coil, yeah, that's it. Party is... Plus five constitution, which effectively increases their health. Plus two armor. Triumph of the Crusaders. Parts the allies the fervor of righteousness in battle. 
granting them the strong inspiration. When an ally in the area delivers a killing blow, they regain health. Ooh. Plus 80 health. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. That lasts how long? Well, I mean, the health is forever, right? Until you get hit again? Strong for 10 rounds seems pretty good. So this doesn't give a duration. Does that just mean that so long as they have the strong AoE, I guess? Seems like that's the best one. Well, the penalty to all defenses on this, plus the burn damage, this one's actually better, I think. We'll take Shining Beacon. Yeah? You don't want 80 health when you uh, do the kill blow? No, a dead enemy is one that can't deal more damage to me. Kana, metaphysics. Metaphysics? Tell me about that. Uh... A young There's field of physics. knowledge and metaphysics deals with animancy, Adra, the wheel, the in-between, the beyond, and all mysteries of the soul. <sighs> I'm disappointed. <laughs> I thought there was gonna metaphysics, be... not physics. <sighs> Fine. Tough. My existing grimoire level 5 spells are pretty good. I just want to see if there's any of these other ones that are like super amazing. It's soul science. Uh -huh. Although it's a natural phenomenon in this universe, it's not. It's not. Phenomenon. It's not superstitious. It's like animancy is an observable thing. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Transforms an enemy into a pig. It's a game. It's a game. Oh, I watched the uh, half in the bag on Interstellar. Yeah. And it was funny because, like, the first thing they criticized was Anne Hathaway's love transcends space and time speech. Feel bad for her having to deliver that line. Yeah, they they eventually said, you know what? Like, this could have been delivered really badly, but she did the best she could with the fucking script she was given. Oh, the rest of the movie's so good. Proof an enemy makes them fall asleep. I mean, if if you suspend your disbelief, I do really appreciate they um hired on Tip Trust. Thorne, who won a Nobel Prize lately for the gravitational wave detection, because he's a theorist. And he did theory. Nick Thorne is a physicist. He's a phys yeah. Sorry, he's he's a physicist. I think he's at Caltech, which is really unfortunate because Caltech You've... is shitty. Sorry, there's a lot of undertone here. Um, the short version is that the movie hired a physicist in order to create the visuals of the black hole, which I thought was kind of cool. And I think he kept the director away from um, making things go faster than the speed of light. The director wanted to do that. He's like, mm -mm, mm -mm, please don't. Don't do that. All right, leveled up. That's Let's wrong. progress. By the director, I mean Chris Nolan. Oh, what does Shoti have to say? Guess what? Now go on and guess, really. What is it? No dreams, waking or sleeping. Hooray! I had a one since losing those souls. Is that good? So fun. She's having really bad like nightmares. I swallowed a star, and now I got light bursting from my chest. Can you see yeah. it in me? This happiness? It's all on account of you, Watcher. That's Aww, great, show so team. <laughs> Everything's different now. The world looks so dang bright, doesn't it? Even at night. The sky goes all glittery with stars. Must be what the gods see when new souls are born. Interesting timing, show team. Okay. Cool. So it's not that new it's new souls are burnt born, they're not a reincarnation. I just had a question because you said rebirth. Reincarnation is definitely an observable thing in this universe. But if there's new, I mean, maybe they're made new because they're reborn, or is there just going to be an infinite amount of souls by the time the universe Shit. Get up. gets destroyed? Oh, God. Okay. I want to have my barbar bar 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 yeah, barbarian uh, just close enough to be able to do a sneaky strike here. On the cauldron? On the Indeed. giant fire giant guy is standing here. Oh, that's a dude? I thought that was like a cauldron. Oh, well now he looks like a dude. Dun 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 Might be able to use that swift inspiration to get into range in time. Nice. Totally worked. And it's stunned. Where does their soul mask go? I can do that more often. The ether? I do like the idea of there being soul entropy. Okay. 
Does her soul like contribute to the heat death of the universe? And eventually there is no soul? Water frost. Burn damage isn't gonna help, but. God of Entropy takes his total. He's like, oh, you want to be reborn? Give me, give me some of that entropy so I can turn it into useless heat. Alright. Kind of similar to our universe. Uh, expand and expand and eventually... Oh, well, assuming protons decay. We're not really sure if protons decay, but if they do, they'll eventually decay and then there'll be nothing. Bushwhack, Stunned, Mule Kick, Shining Beacon. I guess Electron's still- he's, he's super fucking stunned, okay. Got it. Hit him! Her, apparently. Her, sorry. That was my mistake. Pretty cool. What, you're just running away? Like a little bitch? No, I killed it. Oh. Did you get loot from it? I didn't see you loot it. Yeah, I looted it. Oh, that's bad. You're in your out with the loot. You're like, oh, you die, you don't even care. You're just like, oh, what can I get off of y'all? The corpse. You know it. That's exactly how I do it. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. we have here? Ooh, secret purple thing. I like purple. It's my favorite color. Actually, that purple is my favorite color. Oh, my parents door. painted my room that purple when I was a teenager. It was dope. You saw it. It was dope, right? It was dope. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it didn't help them sell the house. Be like, and there's this room. My parents were. Oh. <laughs> my parents were goths, so they painted my room black. Did you, but you were kind of gothy. Sure, that was, it was yeah. black like your soul. Until I rebelled and stopped being a goth. You like cut your parents, hair you know. and didn't get a tattoo and became an atheist. Yep. Oh, and well, no. That's pretty. That's basically it. I can't see you, you sneaky bastard. Came friends with Phil, who was this, you know, clean-shaven businessman who helped you get a job at Chase. Screw you, mom. I'm gonna wear a button-down, study to become a lawyer. <laughs> Hey, no, that's exactly it, actually. Yeah, it's, the, uh, <laughs> it's pretty fucking close. The My favorite all-time... Oh, I'll let this enemy turn the corner there, because it looks like they stack next to each other. Monty Python sketch. The one with the uh, the guy whose dad is a, is a poet, like uh -huh. a poet laureate, and he wants to be a coal miner. It's very funny. It's probably... The South Park probably got inspiration from that, from the the father that wants his son to be yeah. in musical theater yeah. at school and he doesn't want him to play basketball. He's like, I'm a slap, I slap, I slap, I slap you because you disrespected me. Oh, I got this. Hopefully I can get in there again like last time. That's what he said. Absolutely. Nice. Brilliant. Oh, that is so awesome. Yeah, did you, did you get in there nice and deep? Well, I have a, I have an effect on now that makes it so that when I attack from stealth, I do extra damage, it's more accurate, nice. and it stuns the target. Nice. But I only get the one shot at it. Sergeant Mayor Tuber. What's up, Sergeant Major? How you doing? Major Sergeant? Just in some request time. Sure. What were you just playing? Ice beam. I think I don't know which of these does more damage. Kaboom! How oh, is it prone? Or is it dead? Xeno play Blade Chronicles. Did you play that? Yeah, I played the 3DS. Is that the way I'm having the vision of the Monado? That is holy shit. Holy Fucking shit. Nailed it. Can't believe you knew that. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, for those of you new to the channel, um, I will play video games occasionally, but yes. I'm a very, very, very. Where's the? There is another enemy up here. To be so many games, it's hard to keep that. Turn invisible or something. Oh, thanks, Robinon. I got your name right again. Thanks, Robinon. Lucky guess. I knew it. I pay attention to my husband's Super work. Super confused. Hey. I know what he does. Are they invisible? So they're not paralyzed anymore. I guess you need to let them act yeah. here to see what's going on. What the fuck? Is that a bug? Are you like oh. stuck running in one pixel? Or... No, the enemy was invisible for some reason. In Zelda, that was a bug, but it was really cool. And they used it in Link to the Past. Right? Pretty sure I'm right about that. Oh, Ganon in the original Zelda? Like, what? I know what you're talking about, yeah. Thank you, it was a bug. Then they used it in Link to the Past. They made it canon. Yeah, yeah, you. you're right. Hey, I'm paying attention. Hey. Hi, Ben. You might be hungry. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Oh fuck! I just, I just hit a lot there. And it's Robin on, not Raven on. Mm -hmm. It does kind of look like Raven. Of course. Pretty good deal. I'd get it for thirty bucks. Oh, that's bad. I got this. It's a lot of content in it. I recommend it. Could use a light out. Whoops. That's unusual. Well, we're gonna have to rest. We all just got hit by a truck. Stop distracting Dylan. Precious little guy. Fire thrower's glove. Plus one arcana, plus one all evocation power levels. That seems pretty good. Plus two dex. And his glove spot's not being used right now. Fantastic. Ravanan. Ravanan. Not Ravanan. So I've been Ravanan the whole time. Ravanan. I've always said Ravanan. I said Yahan wrong for like a year before I finally asked. Yeah, I guess it's where you put the, what, emphasis. Which syllable you put the emphasis in? It's Ravanan. Ravanan. Yeah, no, I think Ravanan is right. Ravanan. <laughs> it's like uh, I have people they call me Andrea or they call me Andrea and and that's pretty much it Andrea um, and they're always asking me how to pronounce my name and I'm like dude as long as it's not Audria oh my god someone used to call me Audria I'm like there is not a U in my name there is nothing in common with my name and Audrey except for the first letter Robin, the third letter you, you say proper Gable instead of proper Gable Say propagable. Rapid dash. Propagable. Propagable. Why do servants of the Lord and Master? I'm sorry, Lord and Master, sir. I will try to be more cognizant of that. Try to be more what? Cognizant. 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 There's another I'll try song. though. I got this. <laughs> it's okay. Cognizant. Like, I think Andrea knows what word she wants to use. She knows what it sounds like. Russell Crow and a bunch of boats. Master and Commander. Yeah, I remember liking it. I don't really remember anything about it besides Russell Crow and a bunch of boats. Point and round the Nice and quiet. Didn't he like do some special maneuver where he's like, oh, the weather is coming in or something, so let's like be on the side where we'll be cloaked or something? I, I don't remember this movie. They did something clever in it. It's a new. Time bonkers. Okay. Carpet and time bonkers. Oh god, look out. Yeah. 
Bob Hope's Let's Be Conquer. I shot. Back up and make sure. Oh, fuck. Whoops. I accidentally hit Alt. Befriended the fire giants and murdered the dragon. Nice. Funny story, and Leon, maybe you remember this from um, junior year mechanics. Shit. Stevenson, I think, was the professor. But he was like, you know, oh, when you're doing a long range cannon, you know, attack, it doesn't go straight because of the Corbiolis effect. Is that what it is? Coriolis. Coriolis effect. It like bends a little because the earth is rotating. And apparently there are two people and they were battling and one people kept being like, our cannons are calibrated perfectly. I don't understand why they're not missing. And the other people are like, fuck it. We're just going to calibrate by eye. And they won. But yeah, they had corrected for the Coriolis effect in the Northern Hemisphere. Sorry, but then this battle is like way down in the Southern Hemisphere. So the effect was like reversed. Physics. The point of the... Of the stories, you need physics in order to cannonball your enemy. Damn it. First, I miss. I hit alt by mistake. The second time, I clicked a box by mistake. Are you just reloading? Yes. The alpha strike is really important in this game. Okay. Cheater. Okay. Oh, of course they were, Leon. Right, it's like a, you know, rockets. Like, oh, let's send people into space. Because then maybe we could send new things into space that are military in nature. Absolutely. Perfect. Happy to oblige. But that's cool. I, I like that, you know, the government, or not government, sorry, the military advancement is helping the general population as well. Oh, I think I just skipped someone's turn by mistake. Oops. Sweet. Really? What's the difference between Europe and North Africa? I, I would. I mean, they're about the same in latitude. What was the, so? What was the difference? Was it just that subtle? Humidity. Interesting. Oh, that's so funny. Thank you. Concentration. Well, I bet they didn't make that mistake again. Now, did he, Ravanon, did he say to be called Master Merlin on his calls? These are quite almost dead. Yeah. Now, when you say 10 variables, is that like 0.1%? Really? He wanted to be called that on calls? Yeah. Interesting. Did, and that was cool? Nice. Leave Aloth alone. Hey, keep kicking him in the shins. Throw some dirt in his face. It's the heel of your hand and thrust up into his nose. Yes? Oh, 
right here. Happy oh, wow. That's pretty fucking precise. Not quite high enough damage here. Bunch of misses, unfortunately. Ah, so he wasn't wasn't very patient for bullshitting. That's fair. I'm kind of yes. We're at time. I'm gonna finish this combat, obviously. They had to make like a separate, you know, Norkin edition. I don't think I'm gonna one shot this thing. Oh, I did. Sweet. What can I do you for? Is this guy down? I guess. Oh, I missed bummer. Oh, I catch him. Yeah. Yeah, Marso here worked in a call center. And he just refused to like upsell credit cards to people who were like getting foreclosed on for their house during the 28, 20, 2008 housing crisis. But he was so good and had such a low or short handle time that they were like, that's fine. They were not like, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> I still but got in trouble for it. Yeah. It, the call center environment is often a combination of incentives and goals that are mutually exclusive with one another. If you have a short handle time, you tend to have a poor quality. If you have a high quality, that means your handle time is very high. You had both. I did, but that's extremely unusual and very difficult. Well, that's why they didn't fire you and you Bye. didn't upsell their fucking credit cards to people who were, like, losing their house. Yeah, don't do that. What's wrong with you? Not, not you, but I mean the people who tell someone to do that. Thanks, folks, for hanging out. Future Marstead, explore the rest of this dungeon. Uh, you're currently kicking ass with ice spells on Aloth, so. Well, you're in a vault. Close with Aloth on uh, sneak mode. Precast either the ice uh, fireball or this bitter mooring ability. Uh, and then make sure that the main character is close enough to get in and do an attack while still in stealth, because you got a cape or something that makes you do a shitload of extra damage when that happens. Thanks, folks, for hanging out. I'll let you guys know what's coming up here. Is it video games? It might be.